today's live stream is sponsored by FS Academy. If you want to get started with the most realistic tutorial series and missions for Flight Sim, you can choose from FS Academy's various products, all available to purchase from multiple websites, including our friends at Orbex and Contrail. The FS Academy add-ons created by our real airline captain are designed to help you get started confidently stepping up your skills with VFR flight or IFR navigation. Their latest product, Navigator, as you navigate in cross-country using real techniques, touring the landscape and mirroring a real navigational course. It comes complete with a full ground school manual and 11 tutorial missions which give you the crucial skills needed before setting off on a multi-leg bus trip across wonderful Scotland to put it all into practice. So check the link in the description and go take a look at the FS Academy website today. Hello again everybody and a very warm welcome back to the channel. I hope you're well and uh, having a good week so far. What day of the week is it actually? It's a Tuesday so it's only just the start of the week. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I've just lost track of time now. I lost three days last week while I was ill. I had absolutely no clue. Uh, what day of the week it was. I think I thought it was a Sunday and Mrs. told me it was a Thursday. Welcome to everybody in the live chat. Great to have you here with us. And we're back in the Pocket Rocket. PMDG 737600 for Microsoft Flight Simulator. And yes, as you saw at the start today, the next five live streams on the channel have been uh, sponsored kindly by FS Academy. And uh, therefore, at the start of each of the streams, the next five, we're going to be showing a few bits there. That video is going to be displayed at the start of each and here we are, Stockholm, Arlanda Airport, and we've got the, um, there's a fix created by somebody in the community which levels off some of the issues with uh, the terrain here at the airport, because it hasn't been fixed for quite a while. APU's fired up, and the route to Copenhagen, Fly Tampa's Copenhagen, is all ready to go as well. Uh, so, who have we got in the chat then? Molly, welcome, David L, Liam, Blown Up, Ian... David Bartley, hello folks, good evening, good morning, good afternoon, MPS Gaming, Ahmed, Badger, Alberta, good morning to you, Matthew F, commentator, Gav, Doc on board, Faris, Neil, Ron van der Sar, John, good morning, or good afternoon rather, uh, Kevin, hello to you as well, uh, generic pilot, and Christopher, welcome folks, good to have uh, lots of green in the chat today and everyone else tuning in wherever you are in the world welcome it's good to have you on board with us today please hit the subscribe button and uh, as well don't forget to give us a like throughout today as well two sectors today in the pocket rocket cruising about 36,000 feet to begin with on the way out and then on the way back 35,000 feet we're off to fly tampas copenhagen and then we're going to turn around there and fly back again uh, Dwal, good morning. Thies, hello to you as well. And uh, everyone else, Lee, John, etc. Steph, Mapek, hello folks. Julian, welcome. Uh, here we are in the familiar NG cockpit here. And um, for those of you who use my checklist, I've actually made a few tweaks. Let me see if I can uh, show you guys. So some of the comments I had were uh, included. Um, could you potentially please add in a larger font? Uh, so throughout the morning I've been tinkering away at the whole thing basically to create a second file so that you can now download the same place on flightsim.co you can get a zip folder with uh, the original one but now also this slightly larger font size which um, ideally a couple of extra tweaks as well just to keep the layout and the formatting quite neat um, potentially easier to read when you've printed it laminated it all that sort of stuff as well so you can download that for free too and enjoy that hopefully one or the other proves very useful so today a bit of a test for it I'm using the larger font just to see what it's like Greason indeed MPS gaming yes thanks for reminding me I did forget that and as welcome on board so we've set the parking brake and don't forget as well I'll, I'll do it again now let me just disengage it for you so to activate the parking brake now with a new PMDG um, hydraulic simulation if you like or the brake simulation you've got to depress the brake levers fully then activate the parking brake and it'll allow you then to set the pressure lights all set as required all the rs and the tests far tests etc all complete and we've set the fmc as well with the apu on bleed altimeter set transponder set fueling loading borders complete takeoff data is set too so in here 
There's our takeoff performance calculations for today. 131 is our V2. Adding the 10 is 141, which is what's set on our speed part of the um, MCP. Flight level 360 for cruise. Reserves of three tons of fuel. So actually, we've got quite a far uh, diversion today, which is not ideal, but it is what it is. It's factored in the weather and everything nearby. Um, but here's our legs page. So initially, we're going to depart 19 right on the Petev 1 Golf departure here at Stockholm, Alanda. And then we're going to fly um, towards Ernov. And then straight away, there's only about one or two. We will then. Um, head down on the Ernov 1 November arrival, ILS 22 left into Copenhagen. So because it's a very short journey, we've already selected the departures, which we need for our performance calculations anyway. There's the other one. But because we're only on cruise for about 10 minutes today, on the first sector we've already selected Erno 1 November and ILS 22 left with no transitions there ready to go to. Jonathan, howdy. It is the Vast Airplane Toolbox, uh, is what we use. We've already pulled in our descent forecasts and all our winds ready to go to. Let's go to Navagraph quickly. So there we are. Push start, face north. We're going to taxi out on uh, Papa Alpha, Yankee, Old Yankee 10 runway 19 right, and then departing Petev 1. Golf departure, so that's that one there. Initially 184 degrees to SA705, instantly then a right turn, max 220 knots, climbing to 2100 feet um, over this beautiful bit of terrain here. Hopefully, the cloud will be clear so we can enjoy that. And then 220 degrees, climbing out to Petev. Initial climb clearance is to 5000 until otherwise specified, but we're on Unicom, so therefore we can clear ourselves to whatever we deem suitable, reasonable, and fit. Petev, I think, is that one. Nope, it's that one there. And we got uh, a couple of waypoints. Tipix, Lipsy, Coxim, and then Elpax for the arrival into Copenhagen. Uh, quite a long one, actually, descending down towards the airfield there. Like I said, only 10 minutes at flight level 360. T-Man, uh, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Everyone said they weren't going to get the 600. Lots of people were saying that for sure. Uh, until they saw how much of a pocket rocket it is. Uh, Nighthawk, we'll try, we'll try. Arlanda traffic, Nordic 31907, pushing back from... 141, 183, 3000. Um, what else could we set here? Don't need, really need anything else. I'll set the Arlanda VOR 1160, just for good practice. Like so... Uh, I think maybe 220 could be the outbound radial from that. So let me just set that. We will purely see. We're not sure. And then we can prep our toolbar pushback as well with that pushback pre-planning function. Interesting. Yeah, so that's the cul-de-sac. So we'll push to here. we'll end up like that. A couple of little waypoint type things for it to think about there then. Uh, we've got no tug, so no idea what's going to happen here. Where's my checklists? That's the wrong section. Our break is on. Up to uniform, uh, FS Yankee actions, one ground one services. Four. And wheel chocks now removed. So all the ground surfaces are all clear. And the anti-collision lights can go on. And we're going to do check clear both sides. Clear right by the looks of it. A couple of Scandinavian aircraft there. And it looks like we're clear left as well. But we can't really get much of a view. So there's a Norwegian. He's just pushing. I reckon we can push in that time too. Um, in fact, it's all ready to go already. Orlando traffic, Scandinavian 1423. Stand 7, push start uh, to face north into the cul de sac. Orlando traffic. Orlando traffic, Scandinavian 421, push back, push up 21, 31, facing north. That's the part break off. 
And I'll land the traffic cross base 270 lit minus. And we'll remove hold. Uh, requesting push back facing west of spray 270. So Fuel pumps need to go on. We have empty centre tanks, therefore we'll leave those uh, shut off. Packs can go to the off position. Ignition mode selector, both. Engine start switch, ground. We're checking the isolation valve, which is open there. Engine two, let's get it moving. Done that already as well. Win request page there, Doc. Thanks for checking. 16 on the N2, watching it now, over 20, let's pop it to run. Alright, can see loads of A350 SAS. These will be the sportiest A350s you're about to watch then, Faris, on your sim. <laughs> Fitzy, yes, you have to have the models installed for it to work, otherwise it can't match anything. Um, yeah, it's always been the case with model matching. You have to have the models installed, otherwise it's useless. Uh, and the VMR thing, a lot of people seem, seem to still get confused with the VMR. All that is is a text file that's configured in such a way that allows... Run. Um, Vpilot and MSFS to communicate with one another in a way explaining it in a simple simple sort of way um, and it will say right this is the call sign and I need this livery matched and then it will work together to see what have you got installed what can I display if you don't have it then it can't display anything I think that is pushback the one, uh, apparently it is oh uh, yeah Osprey 787 Okay, engines 1 and 2 look to be both on and stable. Gens 1 and 2 need to go on. You know, the cabin chimes in the background there. We're going to check the power output as well. Gen 1 and Gen 2. Engine start switches, pop to continuous. And then up in the overhead panel working down. Probe heats on. Wing engine anti ice as required. Engine one and two bleeds are on. We can put the packs onto automatic. Isolation valve onto automatic. Research fans check auto, and that's set to the passenger cabin. Cruise is checked. Landing altitude is checked. APU bleed can come off. APU can go off. Flaps set five. While that's going on, we can start the safety demonstration in a second with the Luke Air tool. Elevator trim set, and we need to make sure we've got our flight controls full and free. Wonderful, smooth yoke animations now. And again, this helps refresh the sim with your controls to say, right, I, actually, I remembered the calibration now, so therefore you get the proper rudder authority and things like that that you've set. Uh, engine instruments can be okay, checked. We'll move the bottom one. Three, 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 three. L nav armed, V nav armed, auto throttle armed, warning recall, and we got both clear. Taxi lights on. Let's go to anti skid off while we're there. Let's put that onto RTO and that's set on there. Sim with Elliot, hello. Uh, Fozzy, member for seven months, bronze frequent flyer tier. Thank you very much for your support. Uh, Got to get the taxi charts out. I'll add a traffic Scandinavian 1423. Taxi to Hall Point Yankee 10, runway 19 right via Zulu um, to Papa Alpha and Yankee. I'll add a traffic. Sweden Control is online. 1184, brilliant. Uh, traffic 14, 21, taxiing 19 right via Zulu, Papa, Alpha, Yankee. Uh, Scandinavian 1423 is now changing to Sweden Control 18, uh, 118.4 for taxi. 
one golf departure. School uh, zero two six six. It's just got to sort this out, folks. We're going to get Squawk and Departure and things. We're already uh, pushed from stand one zero, so we're ready for taxi and request Yankee 9 if available. 2197, roger, then uh, you re confirm you're ready for taxi right away. Hey, firm. Then taxi, hold in point Yankee 9, Romy 1, 9, right. And we'll wait for the scanner to move from right to left. Uh, Hopefully, he will hold position and call me when he's ready. But at the moment, I have no contact with him. I'm about to call him out, that's why. Oh, Steve, you have a full hood and cut over there, right? Question, line up on me. Jim, wind is w almost as wide as it is long. <laughs> and it's fantastic. So we're holding position at the moment. He's been given taxi clearance, but now we have a controller online. So. Uh, we're all getting in now. Burning fuel. Copenhagen. Another two stations. First, Osprey 094, Shex Walk 0246, and wind Arlanda 250 degrees 6 knots, one on the right, you care for takeoff. Stand by, Triple Six is ready for taxi. Uh, don't interrupt, I call another guy, then no, I don't. need you to let him through so he can respond. Sorry for that. Osprey 094. Okay, zero nine four Scott, zero two four six. Yes, new we're given a takeoff clearance also. Okay, we have takeoff from my one minute right to Osprey zero nine four. Red Eagle Air Lufthansa four five four, flight level one four zero, descend flight level one hundred. Lufthansa four five four, Frank. Oh, I can't get in. Frank, with you. Uh, Sweden control identified. Information, Mike is valid. Uh, you are cleared. Knee loop to pop arrival. Runway one nine or left. Absolutely, Jonathan. It should be. We kind of should look around and say, right, this is the flow. So this person needs to call up next, and we can just work through the uh, work through the list effectively. Grande one nine left, and check in for Mike Lofton four four four. Confirm knee loop to pop arrival. Knee loop to pop. Information, Mike. Scandinavian one seven seven one. Boeing is seven three seven seven hundred. Oh dear. Requesting clearance feel like this, uh, to Copenhagen. This guy's going to get annoyed. <laughs> Atis Mike. Okay, one seven seven one. Hello, information Mike is correct. You are cleared to Copenhagen. Cluster Peter Van Golf departure. Uh, Squawk zero two four seven. And the Navy in one seven zero one clear to Copenhagen via the path uh, uh, one golf departure um, and squawk zero shadow two possibly in the future yes. Scan the oh dear. Scan the to six. Uh, yes, don't interrupt. Scan the Navy and one seven seven one. Read back correct. Call me for pushback. Correction. Call me for engine startup and pushback. Speed of control, good afternoon, Scandinavian 1423. Uh, was at gate 7 now um, on Zulu holding position. Request IFR clearance to Copenhagen and uh, ready for taxi. First Nori 3197, line up on way, runway 19 left for Yankee 9er. Line up and wait, uh, runway 19 right, uh, Nordic uh, 319, Yankee 7. Scandinavian was 1421, confirm. Uh, Scandinavian 1423. Ah, I see. Scandinavian 1423. Hey, information Mike, QNH 1013. Your startup is 
Now you're at the gate, aren't you? Uh, negative, um, I was pushing just prior to your connection. Uh, I'm holding position on Zulu, number one in the queue. Hi, I see you there. Uh, Scanner 1422, two, then your startup is approved. Clear to Copenhagen, Beta 1 Golf Departure, 0227. Clear to Copenhagen, uh, startup approved, um, Beta 1 Golf Departure, score 0227, Scandinavian 1423. Scanner 1423, uh, correct, call me for taxi. We'll go, uh, request taxi, please, um, Scandinavian 1423. 1423, taxi, uh, holding point, runway 19 right, straight ahead. Straight ahead, uh, hold point, one way, one nine, all right, so, it's going to be one, four, two, three, thanks. Hold for zero, nine, four, you watch, you watch there, the initial climb, it's on the chart, and in my controller information as well, 5,000 feet. Uh, yeah, check the charts more carefully next time, please. And you now identified at flight level seven, two, climb flight level one, eight, zero. One is zero for us, nine, or four. Uh, Swedish control, uh, I spoke to 7 Philip Mike, he's uh, just pushed back stand 41, we copied information, Mike, about 737, Christophe for clearance to Copenhagen. What's the 27 Julius Mike, hey Mike, correct, Clear Copenhagen, Peter 1 Golf, departure, 5,000 feet. The expert asking, how do you do butter? Don't the key is don't focus on butter. Pilots in real life won't focus on butter. They just want the accurate landing. They want it to be smooth. But if you're chasing butter, you're going to be intentionally trying to fight to get smooth landing, and it just won't work. Osprey two seven Juliet Mike, read back correct. Call me for taxi. Uh, Osprey 27 Juliet Mike, he's uh, ready for taxi. Osprey 27 Juliet Mike, taxi holding point, runway 19 right. Taxi holding point, uh, runway 19 right. Osprey 27 Juliet Mike. Nordic 3197, 19 right, clear for takeoff, wind 250 degrees 6 knots. Clear for takeoff, 19 right, Nordic 3197. Freedom control, you get geo for echo x ray uh, on LS21. And if you need to open the overhead compartment during the... You read your 4 echo x ray sorry for the delay, runway 21, you're clear to land, wind 220 degrees, 10 knots. The expert, how to reduce bounce, so that's going to be speed and flare related. You want to set the flare, hold the flare, but don't chase the flare, and make sure that your speed is just right. If you're carrying too much speed, you will bounce. If you're flying too slow, you will stop. Absolutely, Jonathan. Peter, one golf departure. Squawk 0261. Hello. We could probably do Yankee 10 for departure, to be honest. But by extending out to. we we'll probably do Yankee 9. Negative, squawk 0261. Uh, let's do Yankee 9. We're in a pocket rocket after all. You can do it. Spoke 0261, 0261. Scanner 666 correct, taxi one in point, runway 19 right, give way to a uh, Osprey 737 coming from left side on Yankee. Taxi Scanner 1423, line up on 8 one right. I'll have to wait, uh, one right, right, scan that over, one, four, two, three. And if you want the uh, intersection departure, it's good if you request it with me, uh, not just take it on your own. Uh, we'll go, uh, apologies, scan that over, one, four, two, three. Station, if you don't get a Yankee Niner specifically here, you taxi full length, that's the way it works everywhere else. Roger. Included, Stockholm. Break, break, Nordic 31907, identified, climb flight level 180. Climb flight level 180, Nordic has 31907. Osprey 094, climb flight level 340. Osprey 094, 340. 
Reading Control, Spring Navy 1421, um, off of holding off of Zulu on Apron Foxtrot Alpha. We're re re ready for a taxi and clearance to Copenhagen. Blue Mike. Anyone behind, make sure you ask for an intersection if you uh, want an intersection. Otherwise, he's going to get rather miffed again. Zero two seven two and clear to Copenhagen. C two one Golf departure. Scanning is fourteen fourteen twenty one. One forty one correct. Call me for taxi. Scanning is one 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 requesting taxi instruction. So it's gonna probably round nine the right. Scanning is one one seven one. Could you say it again? Scanning is one four two one. Scanning is one four two one. Taxi to holding point. Round nine the right. It's the holding point one on the right. Scanning is fourteen twenty one. Climbing 454, fly heading 005, vectors ILS 19 left, descent altitude 5000 feet, QNH 1. Cool, that looks good. Been a very yeah. naughty boy, Neil. Guys, you hear? I'm calling a Lufthansa. He's not responding, that means I will call him again. You all have your place in turn in the line. First, Lufthansa 454, Sweden. Lufthansa 454. Yeah, descend 5,000 feet, 1013, fly heading 005, vector to ILS 1 Heading 005, vector 5. Open school, pretty much, yeah, but you need to make sure you set a flare nicely first. John in Namibia, welcome. Hello to you. Nordic 3197, climb flight level 340. Climb flight level 340, Nordic 3197. Can I 1423, runway 1 in the right, clear for takeoff, wind 250 degrees, 6 knots. Clear takeoff, uh, 1 on right, Scandinavian 1423. Scandinavian 1771. Off the brakes. It's uh, uh, ready for taxi. Rock and roll. Scandinavian 1771, taxi holding point, <laughs> runway 1 9 in the right. Taxi holding point, runway 1 9 right. It's fine, you get controllers like this sometimes. You just learn to uh, take what they're saying and uh, not care beyond that. <laughs> we all make mistakes. Go on, rotate. Gear up. To Copenhagen as well, via the one Off we go to Flight Tampa's Copenhagen. Uh, say aircraft type and stand number. Wings level, let's go CMDA engage over about a thousand feet. Can you 2472 push back and start up approved? Push back and start approved. And after takeoff, scare up. Wings level, CMDA engage. Or break off. That was uh, Nordic 16. Gear lever off. Just keeping an eye on the speeds here. When we turn off lights off, and engine start switch is set to off. Correction, Lufthansa 454, you were cleared 005, not 055. Turn left, now heading 340 degrees, descend 2500 feet. Laps up. Uh, Waiting for no lights. You were cleared heading zero zero five five degrees. There we go. North, not zero five five. Turn left now heading three. We're gonna have to zero. level off at five thousand unless he tells us otherwise, folks. Left and three four zero and uh, descent uh, correction to the five hundred feet. So left on the four. Can I one four two three identify three thousand five hundred? Climb flight level one eight zero. Flight level 180, Scandinavian 1423. Anyone else looking for clearance, Arlanda? Osprey 9015, you're looking for clearance. Check all time. Scandinavian Osprey 9015. Okay. Then Scandinavian 4900, information mic, QNH 1013. You are cleared to Copenhagen, Peter 1 Golf departure, Cook 0205. Scandinavian 
Its own language, love it. Scan four nine zero, perfect taxi to holding point runway one nine zero. Here we are. Hopefully we have a uh, slightly more positive experience in Copenhagen. Liam, it's whatever my VNAV's calculated itself to uh, fly at. Probably max 7 8. You were not cleared, Yankee Niner. Next time, if you want to intersect and departure, ask for it. Not just, yeah, don't just take your own idea and not letting me know about it. I'm here to help you and I can't do it if I don't know what you're planning to do. Because I usually plan for you what to do. <laughs> you're now going to be number four in the queue, so hold position here. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, I told it before also extra because of that not happening again. And of course it happens anyway. <laughs> yeah, sure. uh, Osprey, 27 zero at Mike, Romy 1 on the right, cleared for takeoff, and 250 degrees, 6 knots. Uh, Flip for takeoff, Osprey, wow. 27 Juliet Mike. Scanning 1 for 2-1, in sequence, line up and wait, 1 on the right. Line up, wait, in sequence, scanning for 2 one Scanning 1, 771, in sequence, line up, 1 on the right. I did try and pre-warn people to avoid a bollocking. <laughs> Oh well. One mine right. Yeah, in sequence. Bara gör det. Den är den så ställ upp bakom den här. Så i i turordningen står. Ah okay. Thanks. Turn to four five four. Turn left heading two seven zero. Copenhagen has got 23 arrivals, 11 of which are from Stockholm, Arlanda. Fantastic, Doc. Carlos 2275. Carlos 2275, go ahead. Carlos 2275 identified, maintain 35. Actually, you're cleared knee look. Two pop arrival, one and a left. But potentially now we've got uh, complete ATC all the way, but we've got to fly back to this guy after, <laughs> after our turnaround in Copenhagen. Yeah. ATC is correct. We should request the intersection, but. Uh, there was. When I took it, for example, there was absolutely nobody taxiing behind me and nobody in front and no one on approach. It makes no difference. I say it again, one three three seven two five. One three three seven two five. Can I'm three for Charlie? Yeah, to be fair, I think he tried to be polite to begin with and then it kept happening. Uh, when it happened another time, I think. Great idea. You are identified climb flight level one eight zero. Although I can't help but think that comment there was a dig at me. But flight level 360 is going to name him 1423. But I couldn't get in to speak to him. So how can I call to say I'm airborne if he's busy giving clearance to everybody else? Yes, welcome to Wattenberg. <laughs> uh, stand 2-0, taxi Yankee and Julian. I sincerely hope not. Yankee and Julian, thank you. Lufthansa 4 4 turn left heading 2-3-0, clear dial left approach, 1-9er left. Left heading 2-3-0, clear dial left runway 1-9er left. It's a talking point, isn't it? Would, would something like this, for example, if you've never flown on Vatsim before, would it be enough to put you off, or would you just not care? Would you take the comment on the chin and then try and not do it next time? Because for me personally, I don't care. It doesn't bother me. He can be annoyed or upset. As long as he points it out clearly and in a nice way, uh, I don't really care. But... It doesn't need the sarcasm or anything else. I don't think it was particularly arsy. Um, I think, in fact, yeah, like Roy was saying there, uh, I don't think it was arsy. He was, he was nice and polite. 
um, initially tried to be nice and polite. I think then it started to have a bit of sarcastic undertone within it, but these things happen. It doesn't matter. Yeah, scanning 1417, great. Information Oscar, correct. UK to Copenhagen from Stockholm. Runway 1 on the right, Paytev 1 Golf departure, Squawk 0235. Oh, look, MSFS is being rubbish again. Connection lost. Um, yeah, I don't think it's that. I mean, I've heard worse from controllers. I don't think he's that um, that bad. Don't forget, as David's saying, he's trying to control the entire flow of all the aeroplanes. There's 11 of us flying um, this route today. So we've got to bear that in mind. He's trying to manage, like David was saying, the flow of all the aircraft. Making sure that we've all filed the correct flight plans, making sure we're all being sequenced for the departure properly. Um, because he's kind of connected as we were pushing back, I guess we're held waiting a little bit, but the controller is instantly trying to play catch up. But he's covering all of Swedish airspace. So he's then also responsible to try and work out all the other aeroplanes in his entire region, which is this. That whole bit there, this whole section here, is him. It's quite a big bit of airspace, big chunk of airspace for him to control. And we're flying through this little section here to Copenhagen. LM34, Charlie, you still with me? Good control, scan enemy foot 21, we're holding 2000, 2000 at 220 knots. Scan 141, initial climb is 5000 feet. Um, great that you did not overshoot it though. <laughs> you are identified, climb flight level 180. Exactly, Rusty Dog. He wasn't insulting. He was making a point to tell us that um, basically there was errors that shouldn't have been made, but it could always be a lot worse. And he was just straight talking. Rather than fluffing it up, he just said what needed to be said. Um, and that's sometimes actually quite a good thing. I don't mind it. As I said, I've heard a lot worse before. After uh, 9015, traffic is behind. Uh, your startup is approved at the moment. I call you back when C is cleared. Chance heading to Corfu today, very nice. There was another station. Was he calling for taxi, maybe? It was Scandinavian 2472. Also, we've got to bear in mind that. Perfect. What can have been two four seven two taxi to only point from one nine right. Comes across in translation might not necessarily sound that bad. He likes you, John, yeah. Um Osprey nine zero one five, the Scandinavian seven three X is taxi now. He will go from left to right. Once he clear, push back approved. One one eight four Copenhagen approach one one nine eight. That's tuned ready, so that's going to be our next uh, chap in a minute to speak to. You can see there, there's Alpax already. So we're, we're in cruise, very briefly, Toxy there, top of descent. So very short, isn't it? Yeah, I think we've just missed an event of some sort because there were a whole ton of departures out of Copenhagen and then all of a sudden I just saw this absolute carnage. Scan even 490, line up and wait, 190 right. Line up and wait, 190 right. Scan even 490. Scan even 1771. Nästan riktigt, det är tusen fot högt där. Annars eh, bra att du stannade på höjden där. Eh, climb now, flight level 180. Okay, hello, welcome. Climb flight level 180. Scan even 1421, climb flight level 320. Similar call sign. 
Yeah, it's Royce is uh, the same. Whole huge areas. We were looking at the map a minute ago. That whole, pretty much all of Sweden. He is controlling all of Sweden at the moment. This one guy, uh, all the aircraft in and around it, and everything else. So it's a heck. Yeah, that that takes a heck of a lot of work uh, and some formidable, decent um, talent to make it work. Right, what have we got? Because we have to already be thinking about arrival now, folks. These are quick, quick hops. Um, Across Scandinavia. So, Ernov. And then we're going this little 1 November, this branch down here towards Lamox. ILS DME 1095. ILS DME for CH on the other runway. We're at Ignore. So, this top one, 1095, is what we want down here. 1095. Yes, I take it again. Be ready with pen and paper. 1095. And there it is in the charts again. So 1095, course of 217 degrees, which we need to make sure we've tuned. And then we're going to also pre tune the Kastrup VOR 1125. Uh, we from zero, one, uh, right. So it's an ILS, we've got to manually tune uh, nav 1 and 2 five, to make sure that it fits um, uh, our requirements uh, here. Make sure we've got both the courses uh, set, 217. Uh, squawk, uh, five, three, three, seven. And on the other side, David, hello! Yeah, it's from, yeah, I take it to you, sorts, okay? Stand by, break, break, Scandinavian triple six identified. 217, 217, that's all good. Uh, and we're also nearly at cruise. Ten, ten. Scandinavian 490, runway 19 on the right, cleared for takeoff, wind 220 degrees, 5 knots. Clear for takeoff, uh, 19. Mikael, yeah, absolutely, I share the same opinion now. I feel like the 600, the 737 600 feels different enough to uh, make it a really nice purchase alongside the 737 700. Vielen Dank, via Whiskey and Zulu to stand 10, Lufthansa 454, confirm stand 10. Initially, I think yeah, it's a lot of stress trying to get it all, all working quite nicely and get the flow moving and make sure everybody's spaced nicely. But once everybody's flying, it would um, it will start to manage itself. The flow will start to manage itself. So, put some fix rings in around Kastrup. In fact, let's do runway 22 left. Aorus, 5 goals departure. That's Alpha, Romeo, Sierra, 5 goals. We'll do 6 and 10. If you don't know how to fly sits and stars, let me know and we get you vectors instead. Uh, and what we can do, in fact, let me show you it on Volanta because there is a way, I was showing it on previous streams, there is a way on Volanta where you can actually get the ATIS for the airport you're flying into. So if we zoom in to Copenhagen here, and we click the airport icon like so, and then click online ATC, you can see here we've got approach tower, both online, and ATIS. So information delta, expect ILS approach, runway landing, 2-2 left. Expect Foxtrot stars. Mike and November stars not available. Okay, that's interesting. So that now could cause us a problem because we filed for something entirely different. Yeah, thank you, buddy. Really appreciate that. Thanks for your super chat. Scrambling now to try and find the stars. Uh, Ernov, one Mike. Mike and November are not available, he said, so... Yeah, departure, one niner right. Uh, otherwise, it's correct. Uh, correct, uh, or one niner. Uh, Dylan, hello. Can I even four niner zero, identified, climb flight level one eight zero. Climb flight level one eight zero, Scandinavian four nine zero. Scandinavian triple six, climb flight level three six zero. Expect Foxtrot stars, right. Yeah, vectors, which is this, folks. Just bringing the charts up for you. That. So, Ernol Vader below, flight level 110, and then Gitpo followed by vectors to the approach. Osprey 9015, taxi to Holland Point, runway 19 right. 
So we might have to do a little bit of fiddling. Who to left? Turn off one Foxtrot, execute now. So if we go very briefly here to... There's top of descent, good. We make sure that hasn't changed too far. We're 80 miles from top of descent already. Just zoom into 20 miles here. We step through the plan. Mismat, Ernov, Adder below, flight level 110. And then we have Sopel. Followed by Vectors. And descent flight level 80. Starting Vectors for an ILS approach, one nine or less. Information of that. That's interesting, because I think we need Gitpo, not Sopel. Make sure I've just put this in correctly, bear with me. 2-2 two, two left. Oh no, one Foxtrot. No transitions and... Alright. I can man... Uh, oh no, it is Foxtrot fast, Sopel. Ignore me, ignore me, folks. Getting the charts misread here. Let's go back to map. Dylan, no, it's it's Ernov one Foxtrot arrival only. That's the only one that we're going to get into uh, Copenhagen. So everybody flying behind, you need to earn off one Foxtrot arrival for the ILS runway 22 left. No transitions, and don't transition via CAS either. Infinite Aviation in the tower, hello. Wind 240 degrees, 6 knots, temperature 20, QNH 1014. Uh, descent. So, destination uh, weather. Uh, As we were mentioning on the uh, ATIS at the moment, fire. I call you back with the clearance. Volanta okay. a second ago. It's information Delta. Okay. Runway and loose. Two two left. Foxtrot stars. Visual approach on request. Transition level flight level six zero. Winds of one eight zero at eleven knots. Variable and between one four zero degrees and two one zero degrees. All the nines. Runway heading to 20 degrees Celsius, 2.10, QNH 1017. So we'll set that QNH standby there, 1017. Jan, uh, T slash C is top of climb, um, and then by contrast, uh, T slash D is top of descent. Make sure I pin the correct chart there. And, uh, work five, six, three, four. Then ILS, we've got work courses five, set, three, we need the six, four, minimums here, do 208. Five, three, six, four, nice and easy, it's only eight twiggles, six, twizzles there. Six, six. six whiskey, six is that correct, and your startup is approved, call me for taxi. We don't want that one on actually, let's leave that off. So that's done. Scan him in 2472, identify climb flight level 180. Climb 180, scan the name in 24. Airport elevation is 17, which is why our landing elevation is 50 feet there in the overhead panel. Hold speed 9015, one on the right, set for takeoff. Driver data set, landing altitude set, radios are set, lock ILS frequency and course are set. So course is 1 and 2. 217 degrees, and then we've got 1095, 1095 set. So that's already active in Nav 2. We'll need to flick it across. We're going to ICR says required. Warning recall check. We'll do that probably just before top descent, and then it's going to be MCP reset altitude. Line up and wait from a right. Nordic 3197, clear to Copenhagen, Air No 1 Foxtrot, runway 2 to left. Roy, it can, yes, be also set to other to zero, but you round up. So, same with minimums, you always round up as well. F98, hello, we're using the Turtle Beach Velocity 1 flight. Osprey 094. Cargo Lux 2275, descend altitude 5000 feet, QNH 1013. Descend altitude 5000 feet, 
Rusty Dog, yeah, so the Vasa playing toolbox, it rounds up every time. So we could set zero, that's the closest, but actually um, it's telling us to set 50. Fifty-seven likes already, folks. Thank you very much. Here we are on the pocket rocket, near to top of descent already. Got a couple of contrails blasting out the background there. It is right wider than it is uh, long for that wingspan. Mathis, no, no, I haven't got the honeycomb one. Sadly, I haven't tried it. I'd love to. We're Scandinavian 1423. What's our planned landing weight? Osprey 094 Sweden. 51.1 tons. Osprey 094, direct Lamox for 2 to left, Copenhagen. When ready, descend flight level 100. 55.1. So, approach reference, we can calculate a rough V speed here. So, we add that in there. It's in the box. Nori 31907, same to you, direct Lamox. Uh, when ready, level 100. Direct to Lamarx and when ready, distance flight level 100. Ooh, we don't uh, have. Nordic 31907. Now, interestingly, Lamarx isn't in there. Okay, we Same to you also. Cleared Lamarx. Uh, runway 2 to left. When ready, descent flight level 100. He broke on the call sign. I don't really know who he was talking to. Uh, sorry, you broke on the call sign there, so I didn't know. Um, just a repeat message, please, Scandinavia 1423. Yeah, my bad. Uh, you cleared the direct Lamox uh, for runway 22 left. When ready, descend flight level 100. Direct Lamox, um, the ILS 22 left and uh, descend flight level 100, Scandinavia 1423. 2275, descend flight level, correction, descend 2500 feet, turn left heading 270. Captain 270 and descent to the front feet, uh, Carbox 275. Scandinavian 2472, uh, climb flight level 360. Flight level 360 to Scandinavian 2472. Osprey 9015, rock, climb flight level 340. Scandinavian 1417, runway 1 and a right, clear for takeoff, wind 220 degrees, five knots. We don't want Sopple, we're going to have to ignore it, but it won't let me delete it at the moment, which is fine, invalid delete, we'll just ignore it. Uh, we're going to be on heading mode anyway at that point. Flight level 100. Dinner 6, Whiskey 6, taxi on in point, runway 30 via Yankee. Uh, holding point, runway 30 via Yankee. What a crosswind for us here today. For Charlie Echo, uh, Lee Tebby heading 360, vector 419 or left, descent flight level 80. That'll do. Mix that up. Got it all nice Can and you neat. For the for Charlie Echo? After Tebby, Tango Echo Bravo, fly heading 360, vectors ILS 19 or left, descent flight level 80. After Tango Echo Bravo heading heading 360 for uh, ILS runway 19 left and de descent eight uh, flight level 80 uh, Lord Charlie Echo. Uh, 
All spray 270 at Mike. When ready, descend flight level 100. You cleared Ernov 1 Fox to arrival. Runway 2 to left. Mikael, nice. Send flight level 100, cleared Arnav 1 Fox up the arrival, uh, 2 to left, off by 27 Juliet 1. Switch control 1800, going to the tower. Scanning 1417, identified time flight level 360. Not, yeah, it is, yeah. You can fly any aircraft with anything because you, you just get used to the quirks of it really uh, more than anything else okay scan everyone 771 uh, say your new cruising level then okay i cannot accept 360 i can give you 340 as traffic is about so climb flight level 340 new cruising level climb flight level 34 Level. Confirm 340, you were broken. What did you six, say? Two, seven, three, three, four, two, four, below 100. Waypoint yeah, altitude three, at 3000 for the final approach. Right. Automated, right. good morning. Left heading 1, 30, clear one and the left. Left heading 1, 30, clear left 1, 9, the left. Carol, so we've got Copenhagen approach and Copenhagen tower. There's actually uh, so 119 at 8. Uh, there, and then uh, 1181 uh, for tower. Project continue 10 to 340 for Approach 1198. Make a jot of that down. There's some decel points up there for us, uh, and also we want to finally get the ATIS. Austria 9 to run for contact opening and approach 119 decimal 8. Have fun. That's done. All spray 094 Sweden. All spray 094 contact Copenhagen approach on 119 decimal 8. See you. Look for the 454 on blocks. Look for the 454, thanks for fliegen. Schöne Woche noch. Oder vielleicht sieht man sich bald wieder. Ja, man sieht sich ganz deutlich wieder Luft haben, bevor wir vor Ort sind. Ich hoffe, es Danke, tschüss. Ciao. Flight Tampers Copenhagen. I've actually purchased it for today. It's um, been something that I've, I've not experienced before, so I've heard very good things. Looking forward to flying in. We've also downloaded on flightsim.co the static mod thing that takes all the static aeroplanes away from the scenery so we have a nice big clear air field. Runway 22 left. When ready, descend flight level 100. Where's my banana? Lot for Charlie Echo, descent two correction, descent five thousand feet, QNH 1013. Uh, information Papa now valid. I descend five thousand feet and got this down to two seventy. Papa uh, lot for Charlie Echo. Confirm QNH 1013. Confirm QNH 1013 for for Charlie Echo. Cargo Dark 275, runway 19 left, clear to land, wind 170 degrees, 6 knots. 19 left, clear to land, cargo 275. Ready to take off, Finna 6 Whiskey 6. Finna 6 Whiskey 6, runway. Oh, that answer is a little bit brighter. Climb to 3000 feet, uh, wind 250 degrees, 6 knots. Uh, runway 30, clear for takeoff. What star, David? It's the Ernov 1 Foxtrot arrival. Uh, basically, it's vectors. Keep clicking the like button while you're here, folks. Say hello in the live chat if you've not done so already. Okay, 
Skyman 2185 Sweden, identify the climb flight level 330. Nordic 3197. Let's see what happens to speed. 119 decimal 8 for Nordic 3197. Thanks, thank you, luck. Thank you. Skyman 366, save your map number. Gnoden, thank you very much. Welcome on board. Thanks for subscribing. And Nuno as well. Welcome on board, folks. Say Mach number, please. Bring that in a little bit. That's looking a bit more reasonable. One, seven, seven, one. Say your Mach number, please. Bit of spacing going on behind us by the sounds of it as well. Oh, nine, eight. One, nine, five, one, one, two is still a bit too far away. Of your uh, primary flight display. It's, yep. Something like zero point seven, one, one two decimal five Castro. Six, so that's not displaying yet. Still out of range. That's fine. Can one seven seven one? I need to find. Give me a second. Rookie, hello. Generic pilot is a bit odd, isn't it? Not really sure, to be honest. That middle seat custom view there of the wings. What else have we got? Whiskey Fahrenheit, welcome on board. Good afternoon to you. Hope you're okay. Good evening. Good day. Scandinavian 606, Airbus 320, gate for Strut 37 with the uh, 80th Papa, uh, request clearance to Copenhagen. Philip, hello buddy. Scandinavian 606, hello, clear to Copenhagen. I need to get one of those done myself as well. Good evening to you, hope you're okay. Papa's great. Say, uh, Skok again, 606. Skok 0243. You know, it makes it look like a very different aircraft compared to the other two, doesn't it? It kind of stands out on its own now really nicely. 606, correct. Sinner 6 identify the climb flight level 320 and right turn direct to Obering. Sinner 6 Whiskey 6, identified climb 3, correction, climb flight level 3. Trying to keep its rate of descent up here. Direct to Obering. Climb to 320, direct to Dover, in 966. Get that wing view back. Um, that's the one. Turn left, heading 220, clear the ILS approach, 1 and left. Let's see if we can move uh, this view down. You can see the speed uh, brake or the spoilers, the little actuators in the wings move. Osprey 27, Julius Mike, proceed direct Lamox uh, for 2 to left, opening. Proceed direct Lamax. Uh, so, be a quick uh, first uh, thing. Carbolux 2275, welcome to Arlanda. First sector. Taxi stand Romeo 6 via West on uniform. Blown well, up fantastic. Uh, yeah, everybody's got their prices now, which is nice to hear. Can you sound on another spot because you in me? Yes. Those issues should be taken not on the frequency. This is for controlling only. Write it to him in text, please. Write the okay, first sorry. message to him. I was talking now to Cargolux, Cargolux 2275, Dan Romeo 6 via Western Uniform. Jeff, it's going to be epic, isn't it? I think we're going to be handed over any seconds. Can anyone 771 maintain mark decimal 78 or greater? And descend now, flight level 100. Cleared. Okay, PMDG 737800. Easy decision. Glenn, welcome aboard. Thanks for subscribing. Terry McMinn as well. Hello, folks. It's good to have you here. Can anyone 771 go ahead? Glenn, yeah, we're overdue a uh, trip to Japan, aren't we, actually, in the ch on the channel? One of my yeah, favourite regions to fly around in the world. 
Descend flight level 100, 100, and maintain mark decimal 7, 7 or greater, mark decimal 7, 7 or greater. Jan, that's, I guess I can't really answer that at the moment. What the heck, man? I heard you. I talked to another aircraft. He is in, more important than you. You are on the ground. You can wait. I call you back. Don't call me until I call you. Oh dear. Scandinavian 1771, Scandinavian 1771, descent to flight level 100, and what it is after. Maintain. Yes, maintain mark, maintain mark decimal 7, 7 or more. Scandinavian 1771, could you please check that? Lost for Charlie Echo on ILS channel 19 left. <laughs> Roy. <laughs> uh, I don't even know who that was. I didn't. I didn't hear the initial pilot. Can I triple six maintain mark decimal seven four or less? Descend flight level three five zero initially traffic below. Descending to flight level three four zero traffic below. Uh, maintain seven four four below max number. Yes, correct. And flight level three five zero. The traffic is at three four zero. I will level off at ten anyway. Should be handed off now. Uh, Scandinavian 1771 also in your FMC. Your arrival to Copenhagen now. Aeronov 1 Foxtrot. Put in Aeronov 1 Foxtrot arrival. Runway 2 2 left. Scandinavian 1771. Uh, did you say Aeronov? Okay, oh yeah, we put it into our Aeronov Discord server the other day actually. Arrival. I put it in text also. Scandinavian 666, cleared uh, to Aeronov 1 Fox for travel, runway 2 to left at Copenhagen, descend now, flight level 340. Okay, at 10,000 now, landing lights on, runway turn off lights on, uh, taxi lights, we'll leave off. Scandinavian 1423, contact Copenhagen approach 119 decimal 8. Contact Copenhagen approach 119 decimal 8 for Scandinavian 1423, you tuck. Tuck, ciao. Two seven Juliet Mike. One one nine at eight. Osprey zero nine four free speed contact tower one one eight decimal one. Osprey zero nine four. Think it's Delta. Tower one one eight decimal one. So I'll show you how to do it. Great. Approach good. Afternoon, Scandinavian one four two three um, inbound direct. Lamox uh, flight of one hundred information Delta. Okay, one four two three coming again. Hello, identify. Uh, information Echo, descend flight level 70, expect ILS 22 left. Information Echo, uh, descend 7000 and uh, flight level 70 and expect ILS 22 left, Scandinavian 1423. Scandinavian 2, uh, question 2867, contact Copenhagen 121375, goodbye. Next is going to be Tau 1181-121375. 121375. 121375. Thank you. Uh, Copenhagen for a chop spray 272 lit mic. Uh, 10,000 band of Lamarck information. Echo. Watching the speed here. Spray 272 lit mic. Opening it. Hello. Identified. Echo correct. Descent flight level 70. ILS 22 left. Chicago, hello. 70 ILS 22 left. What's it want us to do? Uh, uh, minimum is set, missed approach is set, uh, approach is briefed, sorry, and the missed approach, just have a quick check, it's climb straight ahead to 500 feet and then turn left, 187 track, climb to 3000. Nice and easy actually, I think it's the simplest one I've seen in a while. Um, we're going to be below transition in a little while. Information echo, still QNH 1017. Or able for the approach, or you can do one orbit at the time. Yeah, I think we need to do uh, do our orbit here. Uh, Nordic uh, 3197. 
Yeah, there's no good Esser at the moment, sadly. Requires a patch, which makes it even nicer. Yeah, but it's on. Send 5000 uh, right, 240 degrees, QNH 1017, scan that over 1423. Local pressure, they're all set, that's set, we've been given vectors 240 degrees. Yeah, that seems tricky at times, when it's busy especially. Uh, we've got to prepare as best as we can. Now, days like today, like I did on the uh, departure, I didn't quite engage my brain when I lined up properly um, with that intersection. So it's something that I could have prevented if I was alert enough. And I've just maybe today not 100% on performance in my brain, making the right decisions at the right times. But they know people will mis make mistakes. As long as they're genuine mistakes, they can't have a go at you for it. But if it's continuous... Send 4,000, speed 210 knots, uh, Scandinavia 1423. Um, yeah, you, they can't have a go at you for making mistakes. But... Um, if it's a continuous mistake, they've told you, and then you continue to make a mistake, then that's where I guess that you're going to get a problem, um, which is then you know, reasonable, I would say, because otherwise you, you, you should have prepared a bit harder. Jan, no, I, I do something else. I'm working night shifts tonight, so um, yeah, long, long, long day, folks. Night shifts are hard work, and they are not good for your body. Know your aircraft is one of the biggest. Oops. That's really annoying. Why did I pick that? This is my drone settings, folks. 8 and 20. And then a nice little zoom. Uh, Math can't really talk about what I do for work, sadly. So our shift, Jim. Yep. Long, very long. Matthew, good morning to you. How was your uh, field trip the other day? Left one three zero, descent three thousand, Scandinavia one four two three. Osprey two seven zero, Mike, descend flight level six zero and uh, speed two five zero. Descend six zero, two five zero, not Osprey two four two seven zero. Uh, let's go for twelve. Vertical speed Order mode. Two four one contact open again one to one decimal three seven five away. Down we go. I'm actually going to go 200 here. I'd like to think we're not going to need speed brake anymore if I've sorted this nicely. So we're going to go speed brake arms. Copenhagen, been a long time since we last flew in here. Uh, well, David, it practice makes perfect. Right, one eight zero degrees. Scan that over one four two three. And one four two three on that heading, clear to left, to left, descend two thousand feet further with the glide. On that heading. Uh, Cleared the ILS from a 22 left and um, descend 2000 on the glides. It's going to be 1423. 
3000 feet uh, to two left by left, soft approach 27 Juliet Mike. 27 Juliet Mike, QNH 1017. 1017, my first assistant. 13 miles. 1421, hello sir, I right, don't Flat 5. Expect ILS 2 to left, to proceed direct to Lamox, Lima Alpha Michael, sir, exit. Um, direct on uh, Limax, um, I'm not seeing on uh, my... Uh, Alberto, I have to take the noise out for more. reasons of work, uh, um, uh, otherwise it will really give away what I do. Final for two to left, Lima, <laughs> Alpha, Mike, Oscar, exit. On this heading, approach mode arms. Click that across. Scandinavia 1423, speed 180 knots. Speed 180, uh, Scandinavia Osprey 27 Juliet Mike, speed 190 knots. Speed 190 knots, Osprey 27. Neil, hello, welcome. Nice Canada shift as well. Awesome. I don't have speed brakes deployed to that arm. It's a good spot though, Mainen. The uh, light there being illuminated. Part of the approach checks. Approach mode's now armed anyway. We're waiting for the glide slope. We're waiting for that lateral navigation uh, there okay, to become active. And on our heading, we'll be uh, establishing. Heading 020, flight level 70. Heading 020, flight level 70, 10 to 6. Company control, um, there we go, what have we got? Lovely. Uh, we, we, we uh, for some reason, our aircraft does not have, have a landmark on you. I don't know what's going on yet. Um, I think it'll be easier if we get a uh, heading. Quick check here, can't enjoy the view too long. Heading 170, back to the island, to left, uh, can't put 141. Uh, what do we want? Climb to 3000, so let's get that set. We're going to go hold. 666, opening and approach, hello, information, echo, expect ILS, 222 left. Flap 10. Descent flight level 170. And we're establishing. Set 217. Bingo. There's the runway. Six miles, gear down. Down to 7,000 and you said speed 260 not the greater. Correct, brakes, brakes, coming in 1423, three speed tower 1181. Three speed tower 181, um, Scandinavia 1423, thanks. Bye. Let's keep the flaps going out. Flap 25. Four miles. These speeds. 128. 133. Flap 30. Tower, good afternoon. Scandinavian 1423. Four miles. ILS 2-2 left. Scandinavian 1423, cash return, very good afternoon to you. Uh, you are just about to become number one, wind 160 degrees, 12 knots, runway 2 to left, you're clear land. Clear land, 2-2 uh, left, Scandinavian 1423. Nordic 3516, after departure, contact coming in approach 119, decimate, wind is 160 degrees, 12 knots, runway 2 to right, you're clear for takeoff and drive flight. Clear for takeoff, runway 2 to right, uh, contact uh, direct on 119, decimate for Nordic 3516. Thanks, bye bye. I'm just going to take this tiny little bit of drop underneath the glide slope here to sort out our speed. Landing rate time, folks, indeed. Bravo, Charlie Alpha Yankee to start Alpha 17 and cross runway 12. That's our warning because we've actually deviated a bit too low below the glide slope there. So that's my fault. Bit of pilot error. Chase one thing, the other one falls away slightly. So all I'm doing is just re reducing our rate of descent. I'm not going to massively aggressively fight to get it back, because otherwise you'll end up overshooting the glide slope then and being too high. So instead, you can make a few efforts to try and get it back nicely. Flat 30 is set and we are all good. You know what I need to do as well up here? And that's just made me switch across slightly and lose. Lateral guidance. Oh, do we vacate left or right? I haven't got my charts ready. Now is not a good time to fiddle with them. 
approaching minimums. Minimums. Actually got 12 knot crosswind. 100. Explains why we were getting blown around a little bit. 50. Looking to the end. 30. 20. 10. Hold the flare. Oops. Hold, hold, hold. Touchdown. We go reverse. Green. Fight to get back on the. Keep it on the center line quite neatly. Copenhagen Tower, this is Nordic 289. Uh, gate Charlie 45. Airbus 83. Miss Bravo, that's fine because we want to come off at Bravo 4, which is this one. Nordic 289. Uh, stand by. One. Okay, right, two, cheers, guys. If I get through this nice uh, and quickly, like so. Not the best hand flown ILS that I've done. Uh, Nordic 289, uh, ready copy. Yes, ready to copy. It wasn't terrible. You are clear to destination by the Vida, one Charlie departure, runway 2 to right, score 5275. Scandinavian 200, please repeat. Vader 1 Charlie departure, runway 2 to right, score 5275. Cleared via Vader 1. We'll just slowly keep rolling here until we actually speak to the controller again. Not ignite, correction 289, a rebuck is correct. Break, break, Scandinavian 1423, welcome to Copenhagen, Pakistan, Bravo 8 by Bravo, Charlie, Alpha, Yankee, and Mike Crush, runway 12. Jesus. It's actually Bravo 8 via Bravo, Charlie, Yankee, Alpha, Mike, Cross runway 12, Scandinavian 1423. Think. <laughs> uh, only small aircraft, kill. Small like PA 28s. Get Pro Pete off as well. Clear that. Bravo. Charlie. Crikey, right? Where is it? Hold on. Charlie Alpha. Charlie's coming up. With an aviation, thank you. I was, I was just looking at the charts then, thinking I've got Alpha and Yankee mixed up. Thanks for clarifying. I can't remember the last time we flew into Copenhagen, but I remember it being an event. Well, we flew out of Copenhagen in an event, I think, and it was mega. Our truck's been scrambled. We have to go through him because of the ground vehicles being a problem in the sim where they just drive everywhere. Laps, thank you, Johnny. That is the last check, I think. Delta is this right, that's not us. We'll continue. And then we've got Charlie. I can see Bravo 8 on the charts now. To so Charlie Alpha. Yankee Mike. Got it. Yeah, the Osprey over there actually. Cool. Osprey 27 Judy, Mike, welcome to Copenhagen, Pakistan, Alpha 14 via Bravo, Charlie, Alpha, Yankee, cross runway 12. And you are, yes, but you need charts. You really need charts. If you're going to use VATS in folks, you definitely need up to date charts. Uh, the most up to date you can get is Navigraph.
Second left. On to Yankee. While we're taxiing, let's have a quick look see up here. we we'll make sure now we can bleed the APU. Good, four six one cash at tower, very good afternoon to you. You are clear to Tel Aviv via the next one Charlie departure. Runway two to right, squawk four four three three. Well, aerodynamics, uh, it, there's a hell of a lot of work for the folks at Navigraph to um, keep everything up to date and constantly improve to feed the nav data into the sim and all that sort of thing. But you can use things like chartfox.org, which give you free charts, but it obviously doesn't give you the nav data. Having said that, MSFS gives us nav data updates for free anyway, currently. Let's get the taxi lights off. There's Bravo 8. Look at that, and I didn't even go too wrong. But yeah, you get a lot for your money with Navigraph. Scandinavian 1421 on frequency. Tag Velocity 44 for uh, Stockholm request clearance. Velocity 44, you're clear to Stockholm, K Max 4 Charlie departure, runway 2 to right, squawk 6552. There we go, I thought I hadn't <laughs> depressed the pedals enough. Charlie departure, 2 to right, code 6552, okay. velocity 44. That's Bravo 8. Back is correct, completion. That's yeah, the only thing really, we need VFR maps, but very difficult because oh, you need okay, to have... Um, at the moment, the only way to get those is to buy them or things like... Um, what's it called? Sky Demon. Scandinavian 1421, Cash Tower. Scandinavian 1421, off shot found 122 to left. 1421, wind 16 base 19. Ground services, Chocks. Nordic 906A, Cash Tower. Nordic 906A, wind 16A. Bit rough on their performance. Then we've got to fly back to Copenhagen now. Uh, uh, sorry, Cass um, Arlanda. Uh, minimum approach speed, please. I am already approach speed to the six. So, while we're here, we've got to refresh all of the bits on VAT sim and everything else. The performance is pretty bad here. I'm getting 20 frames per second. That is not good. Oh, all of a sudden now I'm at 35 again. Weird. Something's something's gobbling up frames somehow. Uh, okay, uh, we need to create our new flight plan route as well for our second leg today back to Arlanda. So, my flights. Osprey 094, requesting the IFR Coos dot com with information echo. Osprey 094, I'll need a flight plan for you, please try and refile. Oh, that would do. 35,000 feet for cruise uh, for this one. Nordic 968, runway 22 left, clear land. Clear to land, Nordic 968. And then we're going to go to disconnect, reconnect, 1424. Four. Happy days. So we need fuel, we need passengers, we need cargo, all that loading up as well. And we pre-created the route today via Simbrief so that we can add the files in as required for our journey. So we need to get a menu. Fuel payload doors. Right, let's get the fuel truck. Let's do this one properly, shall we? So fuel truck request and we want 5099 kilos. Like so. So the fuel truck's going to arrive at some point soon. Um, but for things like passengers, we can just fiddle with these and just add them in nice and quick for a bit of a shorter version. And actually, the way back, only got 91 passengers. 2.3 tons of cargo estimated, it says there. Zero fuel weights, 47.3. So actually, we need to shed cargo as well. So I'm going to go 800 and 1400. 
Okay, zero nine four five plan now file request and I fire to Stockholm with information echo. Your truck's now attaching. Osprey zero nine four, thank you very there much. Information echo is correct. You're clear to Stockholm Atlanta via KMX4 Charlie departure. It's attached now actually. See it in the wing, just underneath there, between the uh, Osprey, your truck and the. There it is, and the wing. Osprey 094, uh, Reback is correct, Copy Push, Break, Break, uh, Nordic 7968, uh, Welcome to Copenhagen, Pakistan, Delta 4 via Bravo and Romeo, Crash Runway 1 2. Delta 4 via Romeo and Bravo, uh, Correction Bravo and Romeo, and Crash 1 2, 968. Actually 968, I'll tax, uh, taxi Bravo, Crash 1 2, hold short of Victor. Uh, Bravo 1 2, and hold short Victor. Andrew's booking his flights later today to go back home for a visit on a 737 MAX and a 757 Vancouver to Manchester via Iceland. Oh, very cool. Iceland Air then, by the sounds of it. There we go, so let's refuel. And while that's going on, we can go FMC, Index, Boss. We can fill this out again if we want to. Let's do it anyway. EK. CH Bravo 8 and then make sure the scratch pad's clear flight plan request and then it's ESS uh, e KCH to ESSA 308 nautical miles and we're going to request it it's going to load in Dan hello buddy welcome how have you been? sorry about that and Scandinavian triple six two to left clear land. Christopher, yeah, it's the quickest way of doing it, really. Um, you can deploy the stairs, deploy the, uh, you can connect the air bridge and everything else as well. Scandinavian two two six, welcome to Copenhagen. Activate the new route. By Bravo Charlie Delta, cross one two, hold short Zulu. Scandinavian 1423. Uh, uh, no, 124. 1424, uh, sorry. I'm going to set this as a reminder. So I know I'll just have to add a 1 at the start. I've got 424 on the yoke staring at me in the face. Uh, and that's all of that done. In it, ref. And while that's happening, should we get our clearance? And uh, Nordic 968, you may now continue up Delta 4 via Romeo. Yeah, Doc, that's another way. So if you pull the flight plans in, you can actually just type in EKCH ESSA at the top of the company route. Click it, and it will flick across. All the business coming over to one. 1421, you went, the, uh, you went the wrong way there. You can continue up to stand Charlie 28 via like Quebec. 281 at 46. Oh, we're going to the um, to the gate, sir. Um, sorry about that. I think I gave you, yeah, I gave you Bravo 19, which was just at the end of uh, Bravo uh, Correction Alpha, but not a problem. You can continue on the uh, Quebec and take Charlie 28. I'm just going to get my Navigraph bits sorted out here. So we're expecting Chemex for Charlie, I think. Based on the Kastrup VOR. So we can flick this across, get it active. Osprey, zero nine or four, you're pushing start to prove for There we go, that's Zulu just activated. Zulu six, please. Zulu six for uh, say zero nine four, what direction would you like to face? East. Face east at zero six for And we need to do our new calculations on okay. performance two. Simbrief. Vast airplane toolbox is going to calculate everything again for us, uh, looking at the weather and everything. Uh, 
We're going to D right at 2. Cell temper 35, it's telling us. So let's pop that in too. Yeah, hold short of Zulu, please. Break, break, Scandinavian 490 on frequency. Yes, sir, I was covered. I lost 2 2 left. Absolutely perfect. Red 160 degrees, 140 knots, runway 2 left, you're clear left. So it's not going to give us anything yet because we need to make sure that we've got a departure selected first. ECA, Julian, number 5, the departure contact covenant and approach 119, decimal 8, wind is 160 degrees, 140 knots, runway 2 left, you're clear. Take off, have a good flight. There we go. So into the departure. And we need Foxtrot, so 12275, I think it's audio ATIS. 12250. Try a five. Camera point seven two kilo Lima, I left two two left. Uh point seven two kilo Lima, thank you very much. Your number two uh Perhaps not. wind is one six zero oh, well. one four knots runway two two left. Uh, continue approach your speed late landing clearance. Continue approach two two. Lots left. of traffic coming in. Late landing clearance, seven two kilo Lima. Scandinavian triple six looks like you missed Charlie there. You can continue Bravo. Look at that. And awesome Papa airport. Stand Bravo seven. Oh, sorry. Yep, and you may cross one too. That's good afternoon, Scandinavian 1424 737600 Bravo 8 with Echo request RFR to Orlando. Scandinavian 1424 Castro 8, it's uh, Tower, very good afternoon to you. Information Fox at this current, you are cleared to Stockholm Orlando via the KMAX 4 Charlie departure, runway 2 to right, squawk 4620. Lid Orlando, uh, KMAX 4 Charlie departure, runway 2 to right, squawk 4620, Scandinavian 1424. Scandinavian 1424, Rebecca's red cops push. 146. 20. 72 Kilo Lima, runway 2 to left, clear land. Clear like land, so. 72 Kilo Lima. Uh, and it was Echo, wasn't it? So. Oh, sorry, Foxtrot. Scandinavian 1416. Welcome to Copenhagen, taxi stand Bravo 6. Actually, uh, disregard that. Taxi stand Bravo 5, uh, Bravo cross 1 2. Departure's on 2 2 right, and we want the Chemax 4 Charlie okay, departure, sorry, which is that five, one. Uh, Execute. And after that. Bravo cross runway 1 2, hold to the Zulu. That looks good. Cross, uh, Going for climb profile two, one as well, a bit quicker. We're going to go route data. Winds request for the legs across the route today. Hold short of you can expect uh, you can expect further up there. Shakil, where would you get the music? Is epidemic sound? The links in the description for today's live stream. So in the bottom there. Scandinavian two four seven two casual sir. Very good evening, to, uh, afternoon to you. Continue approach number two. Wind one six zero degrees one four knots. Take straight lead landing clearance. Expect light landing clearance for Scandinavian 2472. There's a question. Theatus for Arlanda. Not going tell us, is it? What are we expecting? Neil to Victor. Scandinavian 24722 left, clear land. Which is that one? Clear to land for runway 22 left for Scandinavian 2472. 70, I reckon. Flight level 70. Oh. Kilo we'll kilo estimate it at 7,000. Taxi stand Foxtrot 4 by Bravo Romeo on Whiskey Cross Runway 12. That's okay, could you repeat uh, the whole thing? We were concentrating on landing. Yeah, no, sorry about that. Uh, taxi stand Foxtrot 4 by like Bravo Romeo and Whiskey Cross 1 2. There we are. Bravo Romeo Whiskey Cross We'll add the QH in, 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 in a little while. Custom power, hello again. And now we can look at our takeoff speeds. So there's our performance 125, 135 there for us there. Nordic 
Station 3196, Castro Tavi, good afternoon to you again. Uh, you are cleared to Stockholm Orlando. So, Lockheed looking at Navigraph. Charlie, departure, runway 2 to right, squawk 476. With uh, Castro up, we're going to taxi to 2 2 right, so it's going to be um, taxiing down on Alpha, Alpha and, Orlando, uh, and then Alpha 1 for a departure right, south. Uh, squawk 4, 6, uh, four seven, six, On the Camax 4 Charlie departure, four, uh, so heading three, south three, to Rubat. 2 DME, Castro up or 1,500 feet, whichever is later. We're then going to continue south to CH377, left CH381, and then we're going to fly a downwind leg, kind of exiting out the, out the circuit, if you like, right down here, splitting off towards Chemax up here. And there's a lot of people talking over each other all of a sudden. Uh, initial climb to 7,000. Mike, Yankee, Alpha, cross correction, hold short, runway 1-2. Mike Yankee, Alpha, Which is that? Hold short runway one two. For Australia, for Australia. Pop those off. Scandinavian 1771. Team, I did. I saw the statue, but I was focusing on landing. So. Uh, Scandinavian 1771, Cash Tower. I ended up um, kind of getting sidetracked with that instead. Scandinavian 490, holding short 490. I'm not sure if you gave me clearance. Yeah, you can cross one through Hojo Tulu. Copy. Uh, I don't see Zulu on my uh, map, so I'm not sure where that is. Ground power. It's all done. That's all set. That's all good. Let's check up here. Fuel damper's still on. Oh. Uh, Scandinavian 2472, welcome to Copenhagen. Uh, you can taxi Bravo, Charlie, Delta, cross runway 1 2, hold your Zulu. That's looking good. So let's clear. Taxi by Bravo, Charlie, Delta, cross runway uh, 1 fuel 2, truck. hold short at Sierra Zulu for Scandinavian 2472. Might have already gone, there we go, it's still there, connected. So he's going to detach and then drive away. Uh, you may continue taxi stand Bravo 55 Bravo Cruise altitude Gantt pressure Gantt panel 350 okay, uh, Bravo 5, And then Bravo it's telling Yankee us for landing Yankee into Yankee Stockholm Yankee. Lander um, What are we expecting? Runway 26 Landing altitude of 150 there You may continue holding pad Alpha 1 runway 2 to right by Alpha cross runway 1 2 Andy, hello. Super busy on the network today. There's a lot of Osprey there. There's a Virgin. There's another Scandinavian Air Service. There's a couple over there. An Easy Jet and a Star Alliance logo jet parked up. Osprey's taxiing out for departure. We go underneath the uh, light bar there. After departure contact, Copenhagen approach 119, runway 2 to right, Osprey 094. So let's have a look at our pushback. We click manual pushback, see if we can spawn a tug. Doesn't look like we've got one. Scandinavian two four seven two minor correction for you. You can take it. Bravo Charlie, runway one two three zero kilo three. Hold short to them. And we could do that. Bingo. Scandinavian 2472. Scandinavian 2472. 2472, continue all the way down via Charlie, and you may enter runway 1230. They keep at runway 1230 via Yeah, flight tap are pretty cool, aren't they? Okay, landing rate monitor needs to be refreshed for the route plan for the way back. Alpha, and then hold short of Zulu. Negative, uh, Kilo 3, hold short of Zulu. E-Pilot set, Lucat all set, Fly Life Studio set, Volantis set, Navigraph is ready. Velocity 4-4, push start approved, face south, gain H1016. 
pop the flight directors on finally. Radio frequencies uh, are set. Thank you very much, sir. I thought I'd give you a heads up that the uh, London Control and Mob are on their way back. Yep, I do know that. Have fun. The Mob. <laughs> Bravo 8. Sound Scandinavian 1423, stand Bravo 8, fully ready, request push and start, please. My land already copy. With, um, with the info. Two stations at once, I heard one calling for push, say call sign. Scandinavian 1424. Scandinavian 1424, push and start approved, face south, KNH 1016. Push start, face south, KNH 1016, um, Scandinavian 1424. And station calling for clearance take call sign. This is ground. Stand by. Canadian one four two zero IFR two. Um, I think it thinks there's a tug there. Not sure. Kari, the, um, hello. Flying from Doha, almost at Copenhagen. Scandinavian one four two zero. I'll need you to disconnect and reconnect from the network. Uh, I see you as an arrival, so disconnect, reconnect, and uh, find your flight plan, please. Oh, the tug has appeared. Wonderful. Where was he? Oh, that's basically Menzies. Uh, anti collision lights on. Get them on zero zero nine, I think that's all. Axe go off. Get them on zero zero nine, I think that's all. Axe go off. Pumps on. I'll try and spot the landing. There he is. There's Gav. It will be the KMX for Charlie departure. Squawk 7067. Off in the distance over there. Let's focus on the pushback now, folks. Alright, well, I'm gonna need you to read back the squawk code real quick, but well, 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 we got the, uh, the KMX to um, Charlie departure. KMAX 4, Charlie Departure, Squawk 7067. Push start. Please release parking brake. Parking brakes are released. And then say push back. You can start the engines in sequence. Okay, you want to go to Hello, we are indeed. You know what I forgot? Just to come back, Squawk 7067. No, chocks are removed. 7067 for. Um. Okay, fuel pumps. All on, that's all set. Ground. Scandinavian 1417, welcome to Copenhagen. You can taxi Bravo Charlie. Hold short of runway 12. Thank you. Bravo Charlie, hold short of runway 12. Liam's out. Jeff did Tom Contin yesterday. Spicy approach. It's a great approach, isn't it? Just a minor step forward now, or you can taxi Lima whole shot of Yankee. Taxi Lima whole shot of Yankee, but can the two four seven two. Josh, hello. Not just yet, buddy. After engine start, we're working through the checklist, uh, which is here. David Norris, buddy, thank you. A very good afternoon to you once again. Info Foxhot is correct. You are cleared to Stockholm Alarm, the light came out for Charlie departure. Runway 208, squawk 1763. Lowering aircraft. Go to Stockholm, Chemex for Charlie departure, two to right. You may disconnect. Squawking 1763. Osprey 1, correction, 27 Julia Mike, almost squawk 1763. Thank you and goodbye. Squawk 1763, Osprey 27 Julia Mike. 27 Julia, Mike, read back as Kurt Cobb's wish. Nordic 31906 ready for taxi. Nordic 31906, absolutely perfect. Taxi Yankee Mike Sulu Alpha. Uh, hold short <laughs> runway 1 2 initially. Love that. Yankee really, the moth. Mike Sulu Alpha, hold short of runway 1 2, uh, Nordic 31906. Scandinavian 2472, once the uh, Norwegian Boeing 737 is clear, you can go behind them. You can taxi down Alpha 2 2 via Lima and Juliet. Alpha 2-2 two two via Yankee and Lima and Juliet. Negative, just to confirm. Lima and Juliet, no Yankee. Lima and Juliet, correct. Lovely uh, stuff. They're stable. Two four seven two. 
Put the Jennies on. Over here, let's just put them on continuous as well. And we'll check APUs. Uh, so move that across to Gen 1. Check the power output and Gen 2. I'll flick it across to Gen 1 just for good habit. Pro Pete's go on. Ice as required. Don't need it. Uh, passenger cabin is on. Let's get the packs on automatic. Isolation valve on automatic. APU bleed off. APU off. Flaps. Set five. We're going to go into here. We're going to double check trim 6.35 against what we've set. That's trim set. And then we want to make sure on system we've done our control check. So fully right. Fully left. Yeah, this is Vatsim, Young Aviator. It is indeed. And we're going to do right on the rudder. Back to neutral. Left on the rudder. Back to neutral. Niggly. It's incredible, isn't it? Engine instruments, we're going to finally check those. They're all looking normal. And we'll move the bottom screen away. We're going to do the warning recall and also go on our VNAV arms. Click. Click. Water throttle arms. Just to make sure. Turn on to runway 1230. Water break, set RTO, a little warning light there, it's now extinguished and we put the taxi lights off. Get a pen. Thank you. KLM461, finally ready for three let's see, you push proof. Probably seen us flying back, Liam, and thought, nope. Push proof straight back, QNH1016, Scandinavia 144, request taxi. Behind the Scandinavian Boeing 736, you may cross runway 12, continue down holding point Alpha 1, runway 2 direct by Alpha behind. Behind the crossing, Scandinavian uh, in front, uh, we can continue by Alpha 2, Alpha 1, cross runway 12, Nordic 3196. Scandinavian 1424, request taxi. Scandinavian 144, Taxi Mike Zulu Alpha, hold short runway 12. Taxi Mike Zulu Alpha, hold short runway 12, Scandinavian 144. Idle the throttles. Mathis, uh, you go to flightsim.to and you search EKCH and you'll see it. And there's a there's a fly tamper static aircraft removal mod there. Quebec, Fox should hold short runway 12 initially. So, Mike, Zulu Alpha, hold short. So basically the reverse almost of what we did. Sorry, Kilo 3, Lima, hold, sorry, let's take that from the top. Stand Alpha 1-8 by Kilo 3 and Lima. So we're going to pan this round quickly enough. The KLM's pushing back there. Nordic 3196, after departure, contact covering and approach 109, decimal 8, wind is 160 degrees, 14 knots, turn route 2 right, you're clear for takeoff to drive late. Clear for takeoff 2 2 right, airborne 119. Nice little screenshot there. Nordic 3196, thanks, have a good day. You too. Good afternoon, X-ray, cash, very good afternoon to you, wind 160 degrees, 14 knots, turn route 2 to left, you're clear land. Uh, Castor Pair, Osprey 272, Lamont, stand uh, 14, ready for push back to start. Osprey 272, Lamont, get put in start approved, face east, skin H1016. Push start approved, face east, uh, Osprey 272, Lamont. There's a right here, followed by a left, uh, sorry, a left here, then a right, and we're going to hold short of runway 12. 100 likes, folks, thank you very much. Great to have you here, enjoying the stream today. Your wing 597, cash out, very good afternoon to you. You're clear to Dusseldorf, I didn't next one. Charlie, departure, runway 2 to right, squawk 0562. Liam, you have to keep a really sharp eye to see if any controllers yeah, come online. Calling for an Alpha 122 right, cross 12, velocity 44. Charles, brilliant. Scandinavian 1214, give way to the velocity, Boeing 738. We're going to give way to the uh, velocity 738 in front, uh, Scandinavian 1424. Scandinavian 1424, behind him, you may continue Alpha 1 runway 2 to right, via Alpha cross 12. 
Uh, behind the velocity, uh, continue taxi, cross 1-2, Alpha, hold Alpha 1, um, Scandinavia 1424. Copenhagen, busy B661, uh, information Foxtrot instruments to Sundberg. Just confirm a call sign again. Busy B. Uh, busy B661. Busy B661, Castrop Tower, very good afternoon to you. You are clear to your destination. That's the year with Castrop Copenhagen. Runway 22 right, squawk 0, far, correction, 0, 463. Okay, Sunberg, Bisky 1, Charlie, 22 two right, and uh, 0, 463, Bisky B661. Bisky B661, just to confirm, Mixy, mo oh, Mixy 1, Charlie, departure. Yeah, I'm not pronouncing it right. Bisky 1, Charlie, departure, Bisky B661. B661, read back, correct, Cobra push. Let's go. Cobra in tower, let's get in 1420, we're, um, we must have missed the game, we don't, we don't have the scenery, um, I think it's like, we're like two cents off of 20, stand Charlie 28 to the north of it, uh, ready for first second to start. All good, uh, squawk 7067, please. Just go over the line here. And then we can pop the strobe lights back Windows to the strobe steady. One one nine eight pre tuned, ready? One one nine decimal eight, one two two, right. We have to take off velocity forty four. Scan the one four two four behind the departing velocity point seven three eight. You may line up right, runway two to right behind. Behind the uh, departing velocity seven three eight, uh, line up and wait. Runway two two right behind velocity. Uh, Scan the one four two four. And Scandinavian 1420, push and start approved for great straight back QNH 1316. Somebody just disconnected over there. I'll put back um, straight ahead. I almost okay, said I was velocity then. Telco looks to do Bravo, great Golf 116, so send to um, Manchester, let's go back. Calibrex 22, Bravo, uh, standby 1. So he's cleared us to line up and wait behind the departing traffic, yeah, uh, four, which four, means. Four, four, four. Can We've still been cleared via Alpha 1, which is this. You may taxi Max Zulu, Alpha, hold, shut off. Means we, we can just continue through the, the, the stop line, basically. Uh, in real light, there'll be um, red stop bar lights there. He'll, the tower will have extinguished them, uh, basically, for the departure. Pre departure checks. Fuel flow reset rates. These speeds are checked. 135, 125, there we are, 118 for V1, uh, landing lights off, so taxi lights off, runway turn off lights on, landing lights on, check position lights onto strobe and steady, just to have a quick visual check of this up here. Transponder set TARA, and we make sure we've got traffic set on, we have runway 22 rights confirmed. <laughs> yeah, dear. Uh, put your teeth in. Uh, um, now the curiosity in me wonders, there's the windsock folks, straight across the runway, windsock's pretty much straight, nice crosswind. Two minute separation for this as well, just going to make sure we're nicely on the centre line. And we'll set the parking brake for now because we've got about a minute or so to wait. Um, Station, all station, cash up information, golf is now current, cash about. Yeah, I wonder if with Toga we would get airborne by the threshold up here. <laughs> this is a displaced threshold, which means that we can take off, start our takeoff roll on the runway. But we are not permitted to land on the displaced section. What a flight, hello buddy. You're most welcome. Hope you're enjoying it. Those of you with the 737-600, hope you are enjoying it. Share your thoughts in the uh, live chat as well. See if, uh, if you're enjoying it. Hopefully you are. What's been your favourite route with the 736 so far? After departure, contact approach 119 decimal 8, 116, approach 119 decimal 8, take off. After departure, contact approach 119 decimal 8, and uh, runway 22 right, clear takeoff. Scandinavian 144, thanks. Enjoy trip. Go 40, we're just going to let the thing roll. Get, um, Checking the modes, TCPs are looking nice and stable. Uh, 
Bray 37, Mike Jude, uh, Judith, Mike, give us a KLM A320 coming out of the mic. We're going to make sure we've got aileron into wind, folks, as well. Speed to life. Adam, no, it's going to be at least a year or so away. Oh my god, look, we almost did depart at the threshold. Rotate. Information golf on board, ready to copy guys. Slow transition for departure because we're going into a crosswind. Keeping those wings level. Following the flight directors. And now we'll put the autopilot on. Turn the flights on, let's pop those off. Lights are out. Pop that off. That off. 119 at 8 for approach. Gav, thanks, buddy. Copenhagen approach, good afternoon. Scandinavian 1424, passing 2,000 feet. Chemex uh, 4 Charlie departure. Scandinavian 1424 approach, hello, identified, climb flight level 190, left heading 130 degrees. Continue climb flight level 190, left 130 degrees, Scandinavian 1424. Left 130 for vectors on the departure. And we'll continue this going up. Jeez, look at climb profile, folks. Insane. 5,000 foot per minute. What a rocket. Great, Kimex. Scandinavia 1424. That's the next frequency set ready. We're going to go to L now. Skyway 73, speed 2300, 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 speed we're lighter than our way out earlier on as well, so actually we've ended up with um, a significantly greater climb rate because of it. That off. Oh dear, up here. I think 015 for ILS 22 left and we copy the golf. Yeah, flaps are up. Stuff. Scandinavian 1424, no further ATC radar, separate terminate the sequestration shuttle to Unicorn. Unicorn for Scandinavian 1424, thanks to ATC, good day. Bingo. Uh, so let's continue the climb up to what were we going to? 350. This cruise is going to be, I think it's about 12 minutes. Not long at all. It's great fun this. So look how fast we've been bursting up. Look how high we are already. 
There's, <laughs> there's Copenhagen all the way down there. That's incredible. The climb performance is just such fun. Christopher, thank you very much. Been a member for a whopping 19 months supporting the channel. One of our very first subscribers as well, Christopher, was uh, all that time ago. Thank you very much for all of your ongoing support. Uh, Andrew saying some streamers and flight simmers are saying why with the 600, but it has its places. Absolutely, it does. Um, the people that are criticising it, I don't think they've really thought it through that well, uh, to be totally honest. The fact that we have the option of the 600 or the 700 or both is amazing. The price point is pretty incredible, isn't it? We can't deny that. And uh, it's certainly really nice to have something that's an airliner with the climb performance of a bizjet slash fighter jet. <laughs> Uh, Doc, we're going for 26 for arrival as was in the plan initially, unless it's changed, uh, you'll probably know a bit more. So I'll refresh the top bar, hopefully. Andrew, no worries, have a good one. Liam, this is $34.99 US dollars. So for those of us in the UK, it's around about, with the exchange rate, 27 quid. Which is amazing. You're getting a PMDG 737-600 for 27 quid. $34.99. It is really, really cool. So, there was our little direct two with Kimax and our route today. Back into Swedish airspace already. Uh, what is the weather actually in Stockholm, Arlanda? Winds are 210 degrees at 8 knots, variable between 180 and 250, QNH1013. Okay, so that kind of works with what we were planning initially, which was this, the Nilug 2 Victor arrival into Stockholm, Arlanda. Past Bromma, which is there, uh, descending through SA623 Atter above 100. Uh, that's given us there an indication of 38 nautical miles to the threshold there. And then we've got SA622 Atter above flight level 80. Continuing the descent down and reducing our speed now, max 230 knots, 5,019 miles to go to the threshold. And then turning into Ekdas, 2,500 feet, Nilug 2 Victor, max 200 knots. From there, We're expecting this, so ECDAS and then inbound 250 degrees on the ILS, the frequency for which is 110.1, inbound onto runway 26. And we've got the patch which fixes the big terrain issue here at Arlanda, so I'm hoping it sticks, it actually has worked. If not, there's potentially going to be a big cliff type ridge on the runway, which is not ideal. Um, so if, it, if we see it, I might have to flare for longer and actually l land further down the runway to avoid it, otherwise we could crash. Uh, it's something that hopefully Gaia could actually patch and repair in the near future. But there's been a lot of talk over the many years now, I think about two years for it being broken, and it hasn't been patched, so therefore I have no, uh, no faith in it being fixed, ever. Uh, approaches. Lots of options, six pages of options. We want ILS 2.6. Nil of two Victor. Transitions for Arlanda? No, we don't want that. So we'll leave it at none and we will not select that there. And we'll hit execute. So that's now going to give us on the plan page. We step through it. Mikna, Pelop, Nilug. Here we are. SA 62322. And then you can see the uh, the turn there on the plan, which is very similar to what we just saw on the charts. That final turn actually looks like it's going to give us almost a 30 degree ILS or localizer interception too, which is pretty cool. Whiskey Fahrenheit crashed into an invisible wall. 
last time. Yeah, so hopefully that's what the patch has fixed. The uh, the, the community-made thing that we've got installed today has fixed. Christopher says, look, if you look to your left around Nilug, you'll see the Globe and Tele2 Arena and my house really close to it. Awesome. Don't let me forget. It's, well, it's a bit of both, really. It's, it's a specific to that airport, though. Stockholm, Alanda. Blown up. Was there original price point six for the 600 around $50, though? I don't think they ever spoke about a price point. It was only people guessing from within the sphere of the community, kind of just guessing what, what they reckon it might be. Runway 26. Whack a fixed ring on the threshold there. We'll have 6 miles and 10 again, shall we? It's uh, nice round numbers for us to use for the approach. And the Q&H 1023 at the moment in Stockholm's Arlanda Airport. So we will set that as well. Top of climbs there, T slash C. And uh, 157 nautical miles to top of descent, apparently. So we've got a little while to chill uh, in this next section, which is nice. But what we can do is set 250 on the course, which is going to be for the ILS approach. 250 on both, and then on the nav stacks, 1101. Uh, 1160, actually, let's set that first. Arlanda, 111, 101. 1101. So when we get nearer towards the approach, we'll transfer navs uh, 1 and 2 across to the active, so then it's tracking the ILS approach instead. 1,000 below a cruise already. How quick did we get there? That's amazing. Roy says, when you land on 1-9 right into Stockholm's Orlando on MSFS, you crash into the invisible wall. There we go. Wings level in a second. Reese, welcome on board. Thanks for subscribing. And uh, earlier on as well, missed it. Apologies, uh, Alpha, Will, and William. Three five zero. That's all looking sweet. Quick time check. I'm at work in a couple of hours. Look at that. Wonderful. MPS Gaming 2.6 will be fine for us, won't it, with the um, with that add-on that fixes it. Swag, that would be a long shot. It would be quite cool, but uh, yeah, who knows, who knows. I'd like to think the 900 will have been released before then, because the 40th anniversary update is not due until about November time, is it, if I recall correctly? Your house is at SA623, not Nilo, Christopher. No worries. SA623, let's make a little note. At SA623, look left and down. And it reckons we want all to break two. How long is the runway? 2.6, 2,500. Actually, if we do also break 2 with reverse, we should vacate right at the end at X-Ray 2 or X-Ray 3 quite happily. And then we'll just taxi to gate 6. Very short taxi, actually. It's a big white ball. Ah. Full of flights, absolutely. All the Greek islands are going to get absolutely smashed with, uh, with my... Tires for the 737-800 when that releases. 
Lots of TUI trips, lots of Jet 2 as well. Um, probably a lot of stuff in the States. There's a lot of cool options for um, air routes to fly around the US, uh, Canada as well. Swag nice, what tests out of curiosity? If it's PG. Reese, yeah. Uh, Xbox, I think, would be quite fun to, to fly around in the sim with, but I don't think you'd quite enjoy the same level of realism or immersion from it that you do on PC. Yeah, a lot of Qantas ops as well. You know, we need to go back into Queenstown. We did that uh, in we did it in the 700, actually, didn't we? Sydney to Queenstown, a Qantas route. We will do that in the 800 as well, just to see what it was. See what it's like. It'll be a bit heavier, a bit quicker. It'll be quite cool. Caribbean, Mexico routes, Liam, as well. We'll do quite a few to Cancun and back uh, with that great Macu Simulations Cancun scenery. Lots of hops in and out of San Diego as well. Lots of Southwest hops and things like that. Be quite, there's so many options with the 800, similar to the A320, that globally, the world is your oyster. We'll, we'll smash Japan as well with uh, ANA flights around Japan. And hopefully at that point we will have a um, an Amsterdam Schiphol from Fly Tampa, which will mean that we can smash KLM ops with some really good scenery too. Follow, that's amazing to hear. Thank you very much. So your live streams have really helped me get into VATSIM now 30 hours in and really enjoying it. That's great to hear. What's been your favourite moment on VATSIM so far then, out of curiosity? 30 hours is quite a good amount of time. Garuda, Indonesia, yeah, Malaysia. Globally, there are so many different 737 operators that with the 600, 700 and 800, there are so many options to enjoy. Uh, and now the sim is at a stage where there are vast amounts of incredible scenery uh, around the world that we can enjoy to really pull that immersion levels up. Andy wants to see some more Aerolíneas Argentina routes. <laughs> John, been crossing his legs. T-Man, so it's difficult because every pilot that you speak to that's type rated will have a slightly different sense of what they think the sensitivity should be. Um, so just go with whatever works for you because everybody's controllers will work ever so slightly differently to one another. So either you can have 10 Thrustmaster joysticks and they will all be ever so slightly different. Swag, it certainly does, yes. Let's have a look, see. There we are. A couple of magazines in the background, as we were seeing the other day as well. They've actually put in the, let's see if I can get a better view here, a bit of the safety card there as well for the 737-600 too. Well, his best moment was nearly running off the end of the runway in Nice at an evening event. Just about saved it. Blown up nice. I didn't know that. 
just tidy up the aeroplane here, make sure we're flying it accurately. Happy days. We do need to revisit South America. We've now got the um, Orbex South America mesh, which improves the Andes Mountains. So uh, that is already a remarkably stunning part of the world anyway. If you've not flown around there before, um, I can highly recommend it. It is spectacular. Now with the South America mesh, it's next level. It's really, really good. Riley says, isn't this plane fantastic? It sure is. Uh, I was an avid X-Plane user until I switched last month, and now I can never go back to X-Plane. It's great to have you here with the uh, MSFS community. William, hello to you. Wondering which version of MSFS 2020 to get and whether or not there is a tutorial on how to fly the 600 and on all the systems. So now, I'd probably say just get the standard version because there are a lot of payware sceneries like uh, any scenes, London Heathrow, which make those airports significantly better anyway but look at the different airports that are offered in each of the packages search for any payware scenery which make them even better because then you can strike them off the list as not needed inside the default MSFS uh, and then just decide really what you want but it's all based on your own preference tutorial or video type stuff about flying the 737-600 William uh, have a little look in the link in the live chat that I'm about to type in it goes to the website, BritishAvGeek.com, and it goes to our 737 page. Um, and in there, there are loads of tutorial videos. They're for the 700, but they actually work all the same with the three different variants, uh, even the 800. And at the very bottom is a checklist that you can download for free, which is this. It's also on FlightSim.to. If you search PMDG 737 checklist, you'll see it there. Um, and there it is. So you've got loads of checks there to help you get started that I've created as well. This one here is uh, the one, the new one from today. Uh, it's a slightly enlarged font size to make it better for those that like to print and laminate the checks. And you can grab that on flightsim.to. John, thank you, buddy. Nice to be back in the saddle. Busy, busy. Cheers for your super chat, John. Great to have you here with us. Roy, thank you very much as well. Really appreciate the super chats, folks. Very generous of you. William's asking, uh, for someone who flies general aviation most of the time but would like one airliner to learn, would you recommend the 600 or the 700? So I'd probably say entry level, go for the 600. Go for this one. It's... Um, a lot cheaper, packed full of the same features, but it's also got this really cool pocket rocket style character to it. It's very playful and quite enjoyable to fly. System-wise, the FMC and everything else is all the same. All the same. But what it will then do is it will give you a nice gap. So if you then love the 600, you then see the 800 release and you think, I want the 800 now. You've got a nice blend between a, a short stumpy 737 and like the ultimate 737 if you like the 800 variant as well that's probably would be my tip t-man's asking about any performance calculators that we use for the aircraft go to the x-plane forum or go onto google rather and search vas airplane toolbox vas airplane toolbox i'll put it in the live chat as well it's free it's really, really very good. Uh, you have to sign up to the Explain forum in order to get an account. 
to download it, but that doesn't matter. Okay, we are 40 miles to top of descent now, so we need to prepare. Liam says, why is the 737 so expensive? It's not. The 737-700 is packed full of stuff. Um, it also has taken them an immense amount of time to create, so they, they basically work the price out for thinking about how long has it taken to develop, um, what has been our overall costs, what price would offset those costs. Swag, I don't think it will. Patrick says, what's the most beautiful approach we've done? Um, I'm probably going to say something like... Well, that approach into Santiago was spectacular, actually, the other day. That was just wonderful. Uh, but if not, the Greek islands, things like uh, Mykonos and Samos and Skiathos are all spectacular approaches. Okay, so winds 210 degrees, 8 knots, variable between 180 degrees and 250 degrees. Ceiling of visibility, okay. 20 degrees Celsius for the temperature in Stockholm. Dew points plus 8 degrees in the QNH 1013. So we will pre arm that. The minimums for the approach are on the charts. So I have to whistle through this. Let's get rid of uh, Castrup's charts there. We don't need those. 325. So that's set there, and we're expecting a uh, landing weight of around 49.9 tonnes, so 122, look at that, how slow is that? That's 127 knots for approach speed. I think this is the slowest approach I've done in it so far, potentially. Fly in Mike, welcome on board, thanks for subscribing to the channel, I hope you're well. 20 miles, so on the checks. Landing altitude, arrival data is now set. We've done that and we've checked the data already. Landing altitude of 150 is set, radios are set, and lock ILS frequency and course, 250s, 110 decimal one on both sides, now one and two. Wing engine ICS as required, we don't need it. Let's do the warning recall and we are clear both sides. And we're going to set, reset the MCP altitude. What altitude do we want to go down to? Let's have a look at the charts. We'll aim for a continuous descent. I'm going to say 2,500 at ECDAS. Um, yeah, which is what it wants anyway. 2,500 for the, uh, the ILS, for the glide slope there. And we have uh, one five miles run pallet. So we're set 2.5, all the way down, like so. We make sure we're in VNAV, we're going to hit top of descent, the aeroplane will then know. And now we've just got to wait and monitor the descent. Dima, hello to you, welcome. William, flightsim.to is probably the best for free scenery. And then for payware scenery, you need to look at things like Contrail.shop and Orbex. They're the two main ones. Uh, Aerosoft as well, Aerosoft's website. That's got fantastic products on there. And Just Flight too, have got quite a lot. There's, there's a few different websites for you to choose from. And they all offer something slightly different, slightly, uh, slightly unique in a way. How to be to set. Minimum set the approach. simulator I was in the other weekend was a 737-800 and have to say I learned a bunch of procedures, USA, that I never knew. I'm wait for the 800. Also, I am SAS 1420 behind you, Wave Geek. Dylan awesome. Thank you very much for your super chat, buddy. Flew in a, um, a 737-800 flight sim uh, earlier the other day, uh, last the other weekend, which looked incredible. Sounds fantastic. 
Uh, learned a load of US procedures as well, very cool. He's going to wait for the 800 to release. Uh, I'm sure you won't regret it when it does come round. Uh, and flying behind Scandinavian 1420. Uh, missed approach for this um, this arrival back into our lander then. Uh, everybody is up the very top here. So we're going to fly this ILS approach. If we do go around for any reason, we're going to follow that dashed line. Uh, which is this, climb straight ahead to 1,500 with radar vectoring for a new approach. Easy peasy. We want auto break two. Illuminas, well, we've done one sector. We've been on this one for about 45 minutes now, so we're about to start our descent, our final descent back into Stockholm to complete the rotation today. Uh, order break set is required, and then we're going to monitor the descent, head below transition, set altimeter, and below 10. Check depressurization and the landing lights and signs need to go on as well. Happy days. Uh, here, look, SA623. So here is, that's where Christopher's house is. We've got to look round to the left at that point. Dylan, yeah, it's the little things like that that show you how good PMDG simulation is because you now have to depress the foot pedals fully before trying to set the parking brake, otherwise it won't set. So those of you who still are, you know, perhaps haven't flown the, since the update, you now have to do that too. Roy's using virtual performance tool. Never heard of it. Is that on Sim Market? Look at that shimmer from the wings. Philip, good to hear, buddy. Have a good night. Thank you very much for flying along. Hope you're well. Good to see you tune in again. It's been a little while. Good to know you're well. Oh, Neil. Sounds like your dog needs a bath. <laughs> Dylan, it's in Discord. Uh, it is going to be... Niluka 2 Victor arrival, ILS 26. No transitions. Blown up, yeah, pretty much, as an estimate. It could have all obviously changed when Sim Update 10 releases. Anything could happen at that point. Riley saying Sim Market's got some stonker of deals at the moment that are available with uh, wow is that Aerosoft Brussels that's on uh, sale at ten bucks that is incredible that isn't that is a mandatory buy folks if it's that cheap go 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 get it because it is the best scenery in flight sim at the moment hands down flight sim Mark good morning Sacramento California good to have you with us today and bottom good morning. Still need to go into the new version 2 Bradley International, Dylan, too, actually, thinking about it. Uh, we need to do a US route soon, for sure. Need to recover from the mess of an approach I did into Bradley last time, for that matter. <laughs> Look at that. Spectacular scenery around Scandinavia. William, yes, so Fly Tampa created Copenhagen, the scenery that we've just departed from in the middle of today's live stream. Um, Stockholm Alanda has been created by uh, Gaia Simulations as part of the Nordic World Update. So if you download in MSFS the free Nordic World Update, you will get our lander installed for free. But there are some significant problems with it where the scenery is basically broken. You then have to download a community created patch. which removes a lot of terrain problems. I'm 
gonna bring this uh, range in here, monitor the descent a bit more closely. Speed and everything's looking quite good actually, I have to say. So, get some wing views for a bit. Sit back and relax. Tech, welcome. Very well, thank you. Got told off at the start by the controller, though. I saw an, inter an aircraft doing an intersection departure ahead, so uh, I then lined up for the intersection as well, uh, and then got told off for doing it without being authorised. Oh, Neil says it's the adjusted sim version of Brussels. Don't buy that, that's crap. The only Brussels scenery that you want is the Aerosoft Brussels scenery. It's got the VDGS and all the other really amazing stuff in it. BDGS Andy is the um, the guidance system, the aeroplane guidance system. You know when you're parking up um, at the end of your flight and you've got the little screen, safe dock basically, that's probably a better way to call it, safe dock. Um, it's the thing at the very front basically. And it guides you, it tells you if you're two left, two right and all that sort of thing. Um, and then tells you you just stop when you've got it all correctly set. Okay, another sit rep of descent, VNAV looking quite nicely on profile still. Neil says the Manchester scenery from Mako Simulations that we told him to purchase the other day is absolutely mint. I love it. Yeah, that is fantastic. Uh, Mako Simulations Birmingham is wonderful as well. Uh, and we will be at Birmingham on Saturday, folks, on stream. As part of the um, Batsim summer event at Birmingham. There's a big event there, um, so it's going to be packed. And I'm going to try and work some sort of route where we can fly out at the event and then do a turnaround somewhere and then fly back again. It's going to be really cool. So keep an eye out for that. That's Saturday's live stream. It's um, the Birmingham Summer Madness event on VATSIM and it is really cool. Alpha Tango says he's not a fan of the 600. That's fine. But I think that I would like to have the whole 737 family in my hangar. This is great fun though. J uh, James, hello to you. Greetings from a newbie wobbling around EGNT. <laughs> Neil says uh, he didn't want the PMDG 600, 737 600, but bought it, and it's the best thing he's bought in ages. That's great to hear. Okay, so. In the distance over here somewhere, we should have a big circle, big white circle, and that should be uh, a stadium. Unless that's it there. No, that can't be it. That would be Christopher's house, so we all have to wave out the left-hand side of the aircraft. Neil, yeah, it's Maku Simulation, same person who created Manchester. Ian just took off with the door still open. <laughs> highly recommend you don't do that. It doesn't end well. What happened? Andy, hello. A flight said Mike named his son after the Max 8. But don't tell my wife. What did, was he named? Boeing? Max? Or uh, something else? Midsummer Madness indeed is the event on VATSIM. It is mint. A couple of months in planning. 
Uh, usually the controllers will go to a conference room in a hotel somewhere in Birmingham and they will actually run it all live um, with all the different so t delivery, ground, tower, uh, Birmingham radar. There'll be London Control online covering that central sort of sector around Birmingham too. It's going to be really cool. Great event. <laughs> Call him MCAS. <laughs> Ah, oh, Ian, no worries. Fair enough. Uh, there's a descent there going on. Uh, depressurization for the cabin. And that's all depressurizing normally for us. Got belts on finally now. Can a 1050 Ti run good gaming for laptop in MSFS? I'm not sure, Randy, to be honest. You might have to run it on like low settings or something. Traffic around Stockholm is a mess. Oh dear. Oh, there's actually quite a few inbound as well, isn't there? I'm assuming Liam's already landed, right? Liam, you're going to need to get down, mate, because uh, that is actually looking pretty messy. Um, where's he going? He's going to Helsinki, so that's fine. Swag, what do you, PMDG are creating the 738, what do you mean? Oh, we're doing a speed there with him. Okay, so Christopher's house. There's the stadium. So Christopher lives somewhere here. Amazing. Wave, wave, everybody. <laughs> Take the 737 from Anchorage to Janeo after the stream. The cloud base is so low, the train warning just kept streaming at him. Yeah, there's a lot of terrain around there. Neil, I do apologise. It's not making me spend money, he says, on uh, planes and add-ons. People are landing into Stockholm in various directions, Doc says. That doesn't sound good. Uh, flights in Mark. No, it's Luke Air Tour. So if you're running their passenger thing, um, like their passenger system, uh, pack sim, it will trigger it based upon what the aircraft is doing throughout the flight automatically, which is really cool. Uh, but I just click the announcement I need. Wow, yeah. Somebody just landed on 01 left. Our land of traffic, Scandinavian 1424, descending flight level 100 for 2,500 feet, QNH 1013, uh, inbound Nilag 2 Victor arrival, expecting ILS runway 26 approach, our land of traffic. Uh, and it, it's difficult to know if it will lag, to be honest. If you've got Xbox Game Pass, I think you can try MSFS for free. So then I would probably recommend downloading it with Xbox Game Pass for a quid. 
and you can test it and see what happens really, see what you feel. Little screenshot of uh, Christopher's area of residence. Oh, look at that water reflection, that is stunning. What a beautiful part of the world to live in. Crew 10,000, landing lights on, runway turn off lights on, logo lights are on, signs all set as required. Where is it? Thought I would have been visual at the airport by now. Gonna be over there somewhere. Concrete mass. In fact, that could be the airport there, actually. Just in the centre of your screens. At a guess. Pure guess. There's a long, square stretch of land, so it suggests it could be that. 8,300... Bit of night, 1600 foot per minute. Orlando traffic, Nordic 3196, short final 26. Continue down to local pressure, which is the same as standard, it's QNH1013. And we've got our next bit of the checklist ready to go, which is the approach section. Um, ECDAS 2500, ILS 110.1. So let's get this active, 110.1, 110.1. We're checking 250 on both on the courses. Let's bring our speed down to about 180. Aglanda traffic, lost for 58, take off runway 19er right. Yeah, good effort. Make sure the collar's up. 250. Uh, I'm actually going to vector out a little bit here. We're going to go to 025. I want to make sure we've got enough separation with this aeroplane in front because he's just gone full colour or f sort of fully textured, which means we're about five miles separation. Look. So I'm going to work to come a little further out. Just a bit of self vectoring. Orlando traffic, Scandinavian 1424 is passing Sierra Alpha 611. 4,000 feet, uh, descending 2,500, uh, turning right 025 degrees for separation. I'll land a traffic. Flat 5. Drag required after ECDAS, that's fine. Let's go to 800 foot per minute. Let's get rid of the speed brake. Final ding. For the crew. 
and we're going to want 35, 250, 280. Three four zero. Bottom, yeah, you could just configure it uh, with some basic information. So your V speeds, your weights, and everything. Make sure your weight and balance is all set, and then just um, don't bother about an actual route. Then you use heading select mode, um, and make sure you set like an altitude of two thousand feet to target. Um, Orlando traffic, uh, velocity 44, 737, established ILS 26, uh, we're one zero miles to run, Orlando traffic. Go about six miles. Bring it to 170, shall we? Twenty-five hundred. So, 280. That's going to give us a 30 degree intercept. All under traffic, Scandinavian 1424 is uh, turning left 280 degrees for the intercept uh, ILS 26. War report established. I believe number 2, Scandinavian 1424. Time approach mode. Lap 10. Swag, no, unfortunately not. Okay. Speed brake armed. Uh, approach mode's armed as well. And now we are active with the localizer to... Orlando traffic, Scandinavian 1424 is established 12 miles, ILS 26, number 2. Orlando traffic. 250. Ian set up for some photos, nice. 160 till 4. There's the runway. We'll go CMDB up here. Missions mode continuous. We'll go gear traffic, down five now. Six, okay, so we st we've got six miles separation, which is pretty good. Lap 15, and we got gear three down green. 127 is what we want. As long as we've got about three miles separation at the end, that's all good. Lap 30. On the charts. Missed approach with lost comms was to 2.5 anyway, so we'll leave it at 2.5. Break two. Glide slope's about to go active. There we go. It's just gone green in the box. And the nose comes down for the glide. Five miles exactly with uh, the velocity in front. Andy, thanks for subscribing. Sim with Elliot, you can't really. You have to use heading mode. Uh, 
that's pretty good actually two and a bit degrees nose up 49.9 Atlanta traffic 122 If you've not done so already, hit subscribe, hit like, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any live streams as well. Flox just joined in time. A couple of uh, Decent guesses there, 175, 79, 18 foot per minute. <laughs> Lot of faith there. Out of marker. Clear on my two Look at that, we've got three miles. So I think uh, that's all set. There's a slight crosswind, so let's make sure we've got that all set up nicely too. Auto throttle off. Autopilot off. 1,000 feet, let's fly all the way in, folks. Nice and stable. Couple of corrections there with our rate of descent, just because of the um, little bits of sink that we're getting every now and again, and then we're getting a bit of uh, lift all of a sudden. But it's all good. We're nice and stable. We're trying to draw that centre line of the runway all the way through the aeroplane, almost. Just got that back. 100. Little overcorrection there a minute ago. Not ideal. 50. Looking to the end. 30. 20. 10. Idle throttle, hold the flare. Who said 125? Nose is down. Reverse green. 100 knots. Let's get rid of the reverses. We'll just go reverse idle. And a master caution. Engines, that's just because we're still on reverse. We go to manual brakes. This is X ray 3 for vacating. And then taxi to gate six. No invisible wall, W fire no, we've got the um, community mod thing that's installed which um seeks to prevent it. It, it basically irons it out, which is rather nice. Let's bring the flaps up. Irlander traffic, Scandinavian 1424, vacated X ray 3 and taxiing to stand 6, far X ray 3, Zulu and uh, Oxford Alpha. Irlander traffic. Irlander traffic, so Scandinavian 1420 passing Sierra Alpha 611, 5500. That's all good. We're going to wait for the APU to fire up. Uh, speed break, let's get that reared. Ooh, is this Foxtrot Alpha? No, oh, next one. Next. Put the VOR off there, we don't need that tracking. And we're just waiting for this APU to fire up. 
There we go. Ground ignition modes back to continuous, and then up in the overhead up here. There's quite a lot to do with this. We'll put the pro peats off, and we'll make sure the APU goes on to bleed shortly. Now stand six is the second one. I think there is a there it is. The second yellow line is what we want here in this instance. Andy, no replay, sadly. Follow the yellow line. How many was stand six? It's eight. Taxi lights can go off. AP bleed. That's off. And we'll turn in. I want a traffic scan at 1420, passing Actus 3200 knots in this already. And just bringing that speed down for this final bit, make sure our taxi light is off. And we're going to try and guess the line again. Get that wheel on that T. Is that it? Oh, so close. Okay, well, I'm going to get OCD otherwise, so... That'll do. Probably as good as we're going to get, isn't it? So, remember, for this, to engage the park brake, you need to fully depress the pedals now. Then you can toggle the parking brake on. In the overhead panel, before we shut the engines off, I can move the view back enough. There we go. We'll check the APU generator. Uh, packs are on automatic at the moment. Isolation valve's good. They're all good. Reset fans on. Atlanta traffic's going to be 1420. Seven mile final. One minute two six. And we'll pop the engines off. Fully established. Anti collision lights can go off. Overhead warning there. That's fine. Alec warning there. And another Alec warning there. We'll get a few master cautions throughout the shutdown. Uh, PMDG setup. Oops. Uh, FS actions. What we can then do in a moment is put ground services like chocks and everything else in place. However, I think we've got a few more pilots left to come and land. And I think... Yeah, one of them's in a 737. Uh, so actually, on that basis, let's see if it's a split model properly. Let's set the chocks. Passenger entry via jetway. We can set zero in the passenger board there. We can request the loaders. We can click all of those, hit zero in the targets. And we can maybe, it says, get the jetway to attach. It probably won't. Oh, my luck. No, because this is Stockholm Orlando that it doesn't want to. All good. Let's quickly zip over here to try and catch some people on final. Hello to you. Never late. Well, we've completed our two flights for today, so I guess late in that sense. No more flying today, but we've got a few to watch land. This is Dylan on Volanta, Scandinavian 1420. Um, there's a Dash 8 flying in next, but I don't know if they're on v, uh, Vatsim or not. Hello, 
end of traffic cross by 27 Julia Mike is uh, 10 mile final runway 26. That's traffic. John. Jim, thanks buddy. You kind of see there actually at the threshold how messy that is. That's the fix uh, that's actually made the runway landable. We'll know who hasn't got the fix because they're going to hit a wall otherwise, <laughs> potentially. Yeah, you can kind of see how messy that is there. There's like a big dip there that kind of curves round. It's all a bit messy. But what it does is it removes this... There's like a big cliff uh, across here in the middle that you would hit otherwise. With a bug with the scenery. Uh, what minus 125 foot per minute was our touchdown rating and exactly 1.0 G. Happy days. Atlanta traffic scanning event 1420 clear of only 26 on x ray 3. Texas suspense. John's a couple of miles out, last pilot in. The other folks were flying offline. John's in a 737-700 uh, with that Osprey Airways livery. Here he comes. Chris has been using PMDG a lot, missing fly-by-wire to be honest, he says. And um, we did a fly-by-wire flight the other day in the latest experimental branch, checked out the new SIM bridge and a few other bits, discussed some of its new features. It was certainly nice to get back into it. And uh, actually, performance of Flubber Wire was a lot better than the Phoenix was for me. Which surprised me quite a bit, actually. Almost 150 likes. Thank you to everybody who's uh, dropped a like in today. You'll have to ignore the chocks, folks. It's a, um, the fact we've put chocks on air aircraft. Uh, it's done the same, and the same with the cargo and everything. It's, it's mirrored that in John's aircraft there. Wonderful touchdown. Yeah, there is that, Christopher. But I would like to see it to be a, a lot more optimised, perhaps. It could be a bit better, in my opinion. PMDG, for example, I know it doesn't have an EFB, but beyond that, everything else is incredibly complexly simulated. Um, and I think they've done a remarkable job with it, to the point where it's the smoothest aeroplane in the sim, by a long stretch. Here we are. So you recall a few minutes ago? We had, um, we were calling the baggage carts and everything else. So we're on hold with those at the moment. So what we can do is start to unload the aircraft 
for all the cargo. Um, jetway inhibit. So this is a bit of a problem because we can't get the jetway out. So we could call the stairs. That might become a bit messy. But instead what we'll do is we'll call passenger bus. We'll extend the air stairs. And then we're going to go back to the doors page and open left doors one. Uh, we can open entry left aft as well. Why not? Ground services. And we can call stairs two left to pop in as well. So there's another option. You can deploy air stairs and use it like that instead. And here come the rear stairs. They're going to level off and put themselves into a nice position near the rear door. But what we can do is start deplaning from the front at least. There we go, the 90 passengers getting off slowly. And all that cargo getting off too. Thank you to all of our controllers today. On both sides of the flight here at uh, Stockholm Alanda, Sweden Control, thank you to them. And also uh, the folks at Copenhagen's Kastrup as well. And thank you to our pilots that flew along as well. Hopefully you enjoyed the double sector. Dylan, for your super chat earlier on, thank you very much. And Roy van der Kahn and John, thank you guys. Really appreciate the support and welcome to all of our new subscribers too. Hit the shiny red button if you've not done it already. Join us, become a subscriber. Hit like before you head off and join us over the next few days after uh, our lives, uh, after my night shifts next couple of days. We're going to be uh, looking at doing a couple of live streams. One of them will be Saturday, as we mentioned beforehand, which was... Um, the Midsummer Madness at Birmingham Airport on the VATSIM network and I might just take 737-700 out for a spin with the new LNAV 2. Thanks for watching everyone, hope you have a great day and I'll see you very soon. Take care.